to walk with me.
but also to add more life by your holy cross. And further, to give us perfect life by your gospel, and that you call us daily to learn by means of those whom you have sent, especially our pastor. Favor us in the name of Jesus, that we may not be held, nor tired to hear and obey, but immediately submit ourselves to you, and to be ruled by your word, not our human reason. That through our whole life, we may witness that you are indeed our God and Lord and Savior. We be in your people, until we shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. God of God, our Father, we thank you for this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus. And ask me in Jesus' name that you would bow down your ear and hear your servant's prayer. We pray that you will give ear to our prayer and our supplication, that you will hear us, O oh Lord, and answer us speedily. We thank you for being our salvation. We thank you for being our refuge. We thank you for being our high tower. We thank you for being our shield. We thank you for being our buckler. We thank you for being our exceeding great reward. We pray in the name of Jesus, that you will teach us how to pray for we know not what to pray for as we all. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that makes intercessions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered by man. We thank you for life. We thank you for life more abundant. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for your word that you sent unto your elect. We pray we may be found worthy of this word, of this so great salvation, that you have extended to us through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, under and with the power of the Holy Spirit at the day of his coming. We thank you for every good gift, every perfect gift that comes from above, that coming down from the Father of light, within whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turn. Knowing that there is two things that you are impossible of doing, and that is immutability, you changing, and lying. Pray in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be found in the faith, that we may not be found to be liars. We pray for spiritual wisdom, understanding of your word this morning. It was that abstract meaning of your word. Pray that we have been prayed up, pray that we are prepared, our hearts are ready, our minds to receive your word this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus that you forgive us for all of our sins, iniquities, transgressions, and our trespasses. Cleanse our heart, purify our minds, sprinkle our hearts and conscience with the blood, so that we may be clear in what we hear this morning and what we do. We thank you for what you're about to do in this place. It is in Jesus' name. We pray the church says, Amen. Amen. Let's turn our Bibles to we're in an extensive study on the work of God. And we have met all we have said and we have read and we have we are learning that the work of God is being done in the soul. We know that the work of God that He's doing is a systematic set discourse. It's a Lego. The work of God that He does is a lift, it's a Lego. It's a systematic, systematic, systematic set. It's already set. Hold your place at Philippians and turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms. Hold your Bibles there at Philippians. And turn to the book of Psalms right quick. We know that the work of God is a systematic, a systematic, and it's a set discourse. It's what I want. Psalms 119 is not what I want. This came to my mind. I want to read that scripture. Psalms 119 and verse number 89. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 119 and verse number 89. Amen. The Lego, Amen. that's the Lego. Lego is a systematic set, set that Psalms, that Psalms 100, 
and 19 and verse 89. And in Psalms 100, verse, in Psalms 119, the United States, forever, Lord, forever. That's the word when we was teaching on. Now, when I first got, when I taught a couple of weeks ago, when I taught a couple of weeks ago, when I taught you a couple of weeks ago, I taught you on the word, we was looking at the word, we was looking at the word, we was looking at the word, Arainos. Uh, no, 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 no. We was looking at the word, we go to Revelation. We was, looking, we was looking at the word forever. I can't, I can't remember this word. We was looking at Looking at the word Ionios. Who's looking at the word everlasting? A I O N I O S. That's the word we was looking at. And then we look, we're looking at Psalms 119 and verse 89. It says forever. It says forever. And I, forever is the word Olam. O W L A. O W L and E O L O L, and that means O L O L means conceal, conceal. It means conceal, <clears throat> conceal. That is vanishing. That is the vanishing. That is the vanishing point. That means vanishing point. That means vanishing point, and it means time. Time out of mind. So it's a time when it's not in the mind. So if it's a time that's not in the mind, it is eternity. Eternity is not a time, it's this time out of mind. It means eternity. That's the vanishing point. And that is what is concealed from mankind. It means ancient time, perpetual, continuous existence. It means continuous, continuous. Continuous, continuous existence. So it's the continuing, the continuing existence of God. His name is Yehovah, Yehovah, and Yehovah means self, means self-existing, self-existing, self-existing one. He exists of himself, so he is I am. And we know Jesus the Christ is the express image of the I am. Jesus Christ is the express image of, Jesus Christ is the express image of the self-existing one. He is I am. He's the express image of I am. He is Jehovah. Manifest, made known to us, manifest, made known to us in the flesh. So the word has been here forever. Let's revert some things. The word has been here forever. That's what we begin. That's how we begin this study. The word has been here forever. It's already settled in heaven. That's what we begin this study from in our in our instructions to the afflicted. We was on page one hundred, and that was instruction to the afflicted. We was on page 158 or 53, I believe. 158 or 153, I believe. When we was doing our study, page 320 is where we was when we began our study. I'll start teaching you some things on existence, on the word before. <clears throat> we was chosen in him before the foundation of the word. Page 100, and, page 319 at the bottom. It says, if God treats his saints in such a manner, and the manner is, we go back to page 318, and number three, that God takes care of his saints when they're, 
when their pure and immortal spirits leave their clay e tabernacle. What is the clay e tabernacle? That's the body. And take their course in the world of light. In the world of light. What would the world, what would the world of light be on the board? It said that God takes care of the saints with their pure and immortal spirits. When, when their pure and immortal spirits leave their clay tabernacle and take their course in the world of light. What would be the word, the world of light up there? What would be the, the world of light up there in the definition of Olam? The, thank you, Eric. The continual existence is so easy. The continual, the continual existence is the world of light. God is light. And see, this is what I tell you guys. God is light. And words should come back to your mind, to your memory. That's why I tell you to pray for these things. You're supposed to be praying. Anytime you hear the word light, two words, light, when well, anytime you hear the word light, two words should come to your mind, the word of God is true. God is light. In him is no darkness at all. And if God is light, and in him is no darkness at all, and he is, that's a continual existence. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. And if God is light and he is, that's continuous light. Another scripture pops into my mind. First Timothy. Uh, God dwelleth in light which is unapproachable. Just by the word light, scripture should come in your, to your mind. Jesus was the light of the world as long as he was in the world. He came in the world. He is the true light. If he is the true light, in the same context where it talks about Jesus being the true light, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, the Word was with God, all things was made by him, without him was not anything made that was made. And what was, where was these things made at? These things was made in light, in his continual existence. And then they get down there in the book of John and it says, when you get down to the book of John, it says he was the true light. Say John came to bear witness of that light. And it said he was the true light. He was the true light. <clears throat> Told us first thing, the light shattered in darkness. The darkness comprehended the light. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. You cannot believe God except through light. You've got to come out of darkness into light. God brings us out of physical existence, acts of concrete existence, and he brings us into abstract existence. He brings us out of a physical existence, which is darkness. That's the soul up under the power of human reason. We're still talking abstract, church. The whole Bible is abstract. It is abstract. When I say the whole Bible is abstract, the law is spiritual. Many people don't understand that. They was under the law, but the law wasn't in them. I said they was under it as a guidance, as a direction. Uh, as them to guide them and direct them because they were in darkness. So the light that was put before them was the law of Moses to lead them and to guide them into all truth. The light was the law. The law is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path to lead me, to guide me into all truth. Scripture, abstract thinking should come to your mind. The, 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 the same came for a witness, John, to bear witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light that was the true light which lighted every man that come into the world. I can do a whole, got a whole teaching on that, which I'm not going to teach on it right now. So, when we see the word Olah, he said forever, he said forever, Psalms 189, forever is that word, that word settled, the word is settled in heaven. That's where it is. 
We was looking at our affliction book, and this is what we got here. We're talking about the work of God. This work that God did was concealed. In these days, his work is being revealed. The work of God is the work he does in his elect. He does in his elect. He does with his elect. And he, and he does uh, in his elect, with his elect, and for his elect. All the work of God is done in his elect, and he worked with his elect, and it's done for them. This world exists, and I keep telling people that we don't care what D is say. We don't care what America say. We believe what the word of God says and the word of God only. As I said Thursday, our thoughts are feelings and emotions, our minds are scattered everywhere. We got too much garbage, which is the world, in our understanding and in our minds. Our minds need to be light and they need to be bearing witness of that light. So at the bottom of page 300, 318 or 19, where was that? 319. It tells us that God treated saints in such a manner as has been said. And we won't go over to page 318, number three. God takes care of his saints with their pure and immortal spirits. That's light. Leave their clay tabernacle, that's darkness, and take their course in the world of light. Light always goes back to the light. It's going back to the light. That's the soul when it's born again. If God treats his saints, page 319, in such a manner as, as has been said, then we learn, then we learn the extent of his sovereignty towards all mankind. His sovereignty is over the whole world. We're going to be talking about a lot of that today. Though divine sovereignty is one of the plainest doctrines, the most clear and transparent doctrine of the gospel, the gospel is life. Still, it, divine sovereignty, is so disagreeable to the human heart. Now, to the human heart. Why? Because the human heart is deceitful, above all things, desperately wicked. I got this little book that many of y'all don't know why. Some of you say you ain't got it. I don't know why. But if Eric and Bumblebee got it, so some of you say you ain't got it. If Eric and Bumblebee got it, the rest of you should have it too. The name of the private man, you just can't find it. That's all. I know what John ain't got it. Rose left her books. I even gave one to Mama Rhonda when she came. And Mama Rhonda told me, if I'm not mistaken, you told me you wasn't depraved, didn't you? I told you I was. Oh, yeah, you told me you was depraved. Yes. And then I gave you one of these books. Yes. I, don't, I couldn't find no more of them, but I keep this by my bed. I know you guys got it. You just don't misplace it. That's all you got yours, Glenn? Yes. All right, then. Glenn got one everybody. You got yours, Jamie? No. You, you, you didn't find it. I haven't found it. All right, y'all just didn't find it. But everyone, could Charles, you found yours? See, that's what I'm saying. So Charles got one of y'all was here before Charles, and Charles got one of Eric and Bumblebee. And the rest of it, you just can't find the book. That's all. And these are the little books I tell you to keep in your bag. I knew they didn't have it because they weren't here when I gave these out. But these books I told you to read in the bag, and I'm going to read some out of them. And I keep this by my bed, and I picked it up the other day, and I read some out of them. I'm going to read it to the minister. We need to understand. I'm not going to read some of my own, but so everybody can know what I'm talking about. But I know you do have it. I know that. You just can't find it. So, anyway, we at the bottom of the plane, it, 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 at the bottom, it's not a divine sovereignty, it's not agreeable to the human heart. A human heart is a what kind of heart? A, a human heart is a what kind? It's a concrete. concrete. Describe it. What kind? It's a, it's a concrete. Remember we're talking abstract and concrete. A human heart is a concrete heart. It's a human. H-U-M-A-N. It describes it. A human heart is a concrete heart. It's human. It's not spiritual. It's human. Earth man. That's what it is. It's earth man. Human. Every time you see human, First word should come to your mind is evil. Then synonyms should follow. Human heart, evil heart, deceitful. Then synonyms should follow human. 
Those are synonyms. A synonym for a human, a synonym for human is deceitful. A synonym for human is evil. A synonym for human is corrupt. It's human. It put a, it put a description on the type of heart. It's not a new heart. It's not a heart given by God. It's a human heart. That means it's corrupt. It is evil. And it is deceitful. It's human. And this is what we're continually struggling with. When you see the word human, you see evil. If you don't, you can't see. If you don't see evil, when you see human, you cannot see. Anytime you see the word human, you should be seeing you should be seeing evil. You should be seeing corruption. It's human. It's not spiritual. It's not abstract. It's human. Human being. A being live, living in the earth up under the power of the earth. It's human. Let me define human for you. Maybe that will help you. It's human, church. Anytime you see human, I'm trying to drive that point home. Anything from a human is evil. I was talking to a man yesterday, and he said, okay, you say the imagination and the thoughts of man is evil. Didn't God, he said, didn't, didn't God give man reasoning? And did he give him ability to draw? This is exactly what he said. To draw and to design. To de draw and to design blueprints to draw and to design blueprints so that man can build buildings and etc. and create. I said, wait a minute. Man don't create nothing. Didn't God give man a mind and understanding and reason and talent and ability to create things? So man does not create nothing. He invent, he does not create. He takes God's creation and then he uses God's creation for his own gain and he uses God's creation for his own purpose. I said, so you're using the wrong word. You cannot say man create nothing. Man did not create the wood and the steel, and man did not create cement. He invented cement. He took it and mixed uh, water and mud and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera together, and he came up with cement. He did that. And I told him, the reason that he did it, he take the iron, he melt the iron down, and sharpen the iron, and shake the iron. <laughs> See, people don't understand the Bible and know the word of God. And so they say things, they say things that they have heard their parents say, they say things they have heard that they've been taught in education and and and, and in these these universities, in these high schools, in this American system, because that's what I was speaking against the whole American system. The whole American system is is evil. <coughs> Before I go here, because this scripture always popped in my mind. Let me finish explaining what I'm explaining. I said, I said, he takes God's creation and he invents things. He said, well, did, well, did God give man the ability to do that? I said, yes, he did give him the ability to do it. I said, but when he gave him the ability to do it, what did he give him the ability for? He didn't give him the ability for himself. He did not give man the ability for him to use the mind, the understanding, to take the affections and the will and the emotions and use it for his glory. Everything that God quote, quote, that means what I'm going to say is in quote, everything that God put in man, he put in man. I did not say human. I said man. Everything that God put in man in the beginning, in Genesis, he put it in him for himself. Amen. He did how could he put it in? How could he put what he put? How could he put 
How could he put what he put in man for man when there was no man? How could he put in man for man when there was no man? Everything that God put in man in the beginning, he put that in him for himself, for man to glorify him, for man to relate to him, for man to understand him, for man to speak with him, for him to fellowship with man, to have relationship with man. That's what it's for. No, that's why I tell you, I wish a man would come to me, try to talk crazy to me. With this philosophy, this vain deceit, the traditions of men and the rudiments of the world. He couldn't stand with me. He couldn't. Because the love of God has shed abroad in my heart so much. I love God so much and he has given me this understanding. Something that I did not earn. Something that I did not work for. It's only by his divine faith and grace that I am able to speak like this. And see... When I speak like this, who gets the glory? God gets the glory. Don't know university. I wish they had a witness. Boy, I'm on 10. Don't know professor. Get no glory. Don't know teacher. Get no glory. So that professor and that teacher is going to hate me because I can I can teach that professor something. Well, I read you last week that the highest office that is held in the world is the preacher. Many of you don't believe that. Amen. And I read to you for your paper how men should preach. You read your paper how men should preach with, with courage. That's what I had number two. How men should preach. They preach with courage. We're supposed to be preaching with courage. We must not think because of foes. Well, who is my foe? The political system, the educational system, these institutions. Philosophy, vain deceit, tradition of men, rudiments of the world, those are my enemies. Those are the enemies of God. Yeah. Religiosity, that's the enemy of God. Those are enemies. Denominations are enemies. Who you think the enemy is? Oh, the enemy is the crackhead. <laughs> the enemy is the whore on the street. No. <laughs> that's who I'm trying to draw. Lost. Amen. That's who I want to see. These truths I'm preaching, I was meditating yesterday, and I said, I'm, I was going to preach a sermon and say, I'm calling all whores. I'm calling all whores to repentance. Rahab was a harlot. Mm -hmm. The Bible explicitly says, Rahab the whore. Did you hear what I just said? What? It says, Rahab the whore. Amen. Amen. Jacob, the supplanter. That's what the Bible said. Matthew, a tax collector. He worked for the IRS. And so that's what I'm saying. That's who God come to call. He don't come to call the righteous. He didn't come, come, come to call the righteous to repentance. He wants the whore and the crackhead. He wants the game banker. Yes, he do. He wants the game banker. Mm -hmm. God wants the lesbian. Mm -hmm. God wants the homosexual. Yes, That's who he's calling. Amen. He's not calling. He's not calling Kamala Harris. I know. He he not he not calling Joe Biden. Nope. He don't want Donald Trump. <laughs> That's how I was gonna do a teaching. I was gonna call it. I'm calling all whores. He called Rahab the harlot, black woman. Rahab the black whore. We must not faint because of foes. Many in the sought upon strongholds is felt because of half-heartedness and cowardice. Preachers should be very bold and very brave. We have nothing to be ashamed of in our message. Rahab the holly. I'm not ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of nothing that I preach. Amen. Amen. I'm calling all whores. Shall the devil's work be done more bravely than Christ's? Shall the highest service on earth be marked by vacillation and timidity? This is the highest service that can ever be done for mankind. It's what I do up here in this poor pit. This is the highest service that can ever be done for mankind. It's what I do in this poor pit. And I'm not ashamed of no word I use. I was studying yesterday. 
I was studying yesterday. Yesterday I came across, uh, I was talking to this young man, and I came across Ishmael. You know how the Bible says Ishmael was going to be an honor. Mm -hmm. right. It said Ishmael was going to be right. an honor. Right. And, -G -E -R. and I, <laughs> And do you think those people in the world know what an honor is? No. no. But do you think that the high society folks, those with the education, the lawyers and the doctors, do y'all think they know what an honor is? No, we can guess they yes, do. they do know what an honor is. Do you think those lawyers out there know what an honor is? Yes, they do. Do you think the politicians and those that's highly educated know what an honor is? Yes. Yes, they do. And I can prove it to you. Charles, Charles had an accident and these ambulance chasers was calling him on his phone, left and right. Trying to get Charles to commit to them so they could take his case. So Charles got tired of him. Yeah. Please stop calling my phone. Stop calling my phone. He said, Preacher, that's it. I don't went as far as I can go. Now I got to start being rude to him. Maybe they can understand. So he called a white lawyer and honored him. Said, You honored your you. Will you stop calling me? He cussed Charles out. <laughs> so who do you think you're talking to? I'm not no wild ass and cuss Charles out. That's exactly what he said. He just proved the right. He dumb. They dumb, Eric. They don't be knowing what they're doing, Eric. They dumb. They don't be knowing what they're doing. And so I'm explaining to him, you cannot, when a, when a, when a man takes the creation of God, that's where I was right here. I said, a man don't create anything. The, the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings, the understanding. This is why people need to hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. The emotions, the thoughts, and the feelings that God gave to man. He didn't give that to you for you. He gave that to you for him. It's corrupt now. So you take the thoughts, you take your emotions, you take your, the, excuse me, yeah, they're yours because they corrupt now. You take your thoughts, your will, your emotions, your feelings, your desire, and you say, all of these is for me now. This is mine. I can spread them around and give my love. I can give my thoughts. I can give my desire. I can give my feelings to whom I ever want to give them to. And if I decide to withhold them, I can withhold them if I want to. I don't have to have no feelings for you. I don't have to give no love to you. I don't have to give no desire to you. These are my thoughts. These are my desires. This is my will. All of this stuff is mine. Everything I got in me is mine. I don't have to spread it out and give it to uh, uh, whomever the word of God tell me to give it to. I don't have to do, 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 do what he tell me to do. These are my thoughts. No, they never were yours. God never gave them to man for man. Amen. He didn't give man no talent, no ability to use directly. For himself. And I say, see, this is what you don't understand. He said, because he's going to tell me man is a creator. Man is not a creator. Mm -hmm. He's an inventor. He takes the substance of God. He takes the material of God. We just, we, we write there in the book of John. What did I quote earlier? All things was made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. He's the creator of all things. So we take God's steel, don't we? Yes. We take it, we shake it, we melt it down, don't we? Yes. Huh? In our imagination, right? Yep. We put a nozzle on it, don't we? Mm -hmm. We put some notches in it and we put some the holes in the metal, right? right? Then we take it and put some screws and we call it a chamber, right? Mm -hmm. And then we take the gunpowder, don't we? Yes. And we take your steel and this brass and we melt it down, right? Yes. And we shape it into a cylinder. That's what we call it, don't we? Yes. And we put some gunpowder in it, don't we? Yes. And we put a brass head on there and then we melt it and freeze it together and we call it a bullet, don't we? Yes. And we take that bullet that come from our imagination, put it in that chamber that we made, and then we take some more metal, we fire it down, put a little spring on it, and put it in and we call that a trigger for the... <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 
then we wake up in the morning and the, on the phone that we made. Mm. And it says, six dead, nine injured in Sacramento. Who killed him? Man. He made the gun. He made the bullet. The gun didn't kill him. No. The gun is the instrument. He made Amen. Look how ignorant we are. From the devisings and the inventions of men. Amen. What you say? From the devisings and the inventions of men. <coughs> what killed them? Human reason. Amen. Yeah. Take okay, God's metal on the steel, sharpen it up, then mm -hmm. shape it and hand it on it so we can hold it. So we can do what with it? Kill. Kill. Just the righteous, good creation of God, and we're using it for evil, church. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? Ecclesiastes 7 29. Read. Lo, this only have I found that God has made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. And then in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse number 9, the thing that hath been is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. That's exactly what I told you. And with, with that, that goes with they cannot create matter. In okay. their own law, it says it's the law of conservation of mass. Yep. Matter can change through physical and chemical change. Wait, 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 wait. Matter can change through what? Change form through physical and chemical change. Well, who changes. does that? Who changes the form of matter to fit? That's the man. Physical. Mm -hmm. Human. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't know why y'all. Anytime I see the word human, first word come, first word to come to my mind is evil. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> every time I see human being, human, every time I see human, first thing should come to your mind is human, is evil. <clears throat> but it don't. Because you don't see yourself as evil. You don't really believe yourself as evil. You don't really believe yourself evil. I was explaining this to Carol, and I was explaining this to Carol. I said, Carol, man don't believe this. You don't believe he's evil. He don't. I'm going to read this three or four times. I promise you that. On page 15, those of you who got the book, then I, this book is from Dr. R. Cruz. I don't know if y'all can go find it. But it's on page 15. Y'all should have had this book. You're going to look for it again, you should go try to find it, try to order you want. You're going to order it yourself. I'm going to order this one for you. But you should have it. You may know this is the private team. I'm going to slap it. I told you you got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got this book. You got this book. Now, I made sure I got this book for everybody. I did it myself. When I say you got it, you got it. You probably can't find it. Now she better look at her phone. She probably find it up somewhere. <laughs> when I tell you you got it, now the Whitfields may not have it. I know on Rose left for a lot of us stuff. Us probably at home about to find it. Upstairs in them books. But I know you got it. But I know you got it. So I'm on page 15. Set up of uh, the book. They say the heart also is deceitful. Now see, this this what people don't listen to. When the human being hear me preach something like this, it hates what I preach, so it places the fault on me. It says the heart also is deceitful. Give them one, man. I mean, give oh. them one. Help your mama. She need page fifteen. My yes. book don't have no page, Get no number on it. Get Stop laughing at my Okay. Get in and out from the back row. Last paragraph on the page on the left hand side. Y'all got it? Yeah. Y'all, everybody got it? Yeah. 
It says the heart is deceitful. Look, this is what people don't pay attention to. Everybody got on the page with me, page 15, right? Amen. Are we there? You ready, Carol? Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure you're ready. It said the heart also is deceitful, right? Yeah. And then what do the next word say? God. It don't say Dennis says. No, no, it don't. Amen. It didn't say Dennis says. It said God's word says the heart is deceitful above all things who can know it. Jeremiah 17, 9. Among the beasts of the field, the fox and serpent are perhaps the most deceitful. But even their arts can be studied and learned. The waves of tides and of the sea are surely deceitful. But they may also be studied, learned, and predicted. The heart of the natural man, or the heart of what? Human man. Human man. A natural man is a human man. Human man. What is the word natural? What is the word natural in the Greek? The word natural in the Greek is su. It's su ki kos, right? Yeah. It's su ki kos. That's the word natural in the Greek. It says, natural man receiving not the things of the Spirit of God, right? Yeah. Right? Amen. All right. Is, is, is Jeremiah 17 9 a thing from the Spirit of God? Yes. Yes, Jeremiah 17 9 is from the Spirit of the Holy Spirit of God. So God has said man's heart is deceitful. Hasn't he? Yes. I didn't say that. But so, see, we don't think that Jeremiah 17, we don't believe that Jeremiah 17, 9 is from God. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's going to say the same thing. He said, among the beasts of the field, the fox and the serpents are perhaps the most deceitful. But even their arts can be studied and learned. So now we're reading this, right? Mm -hmm. So what is he comparing man with? Animals. Animals. Beasts of the field. Mm -hmm. That's what he's comparing them with. Yes. But just because you don't see the word compare there, mm -hmm. that don't mean that the thought is not implied. Mm -hmm. God took you, J.D. Mm -hmm. and Carolyn, for a reasonable creature when he imparted reason into you. And when he imparted reason into you, especially Van, he brought the animals to you, van, man, to see what you, van, man, will call them. At that time, van, no woman existed. She was there, but she was in you. She didn't ex exist, out, live, ex, out, live, out. She was there in you, but she was not out of you. She did not ex exist. Mm -hmm. Everything exists out of God. Everything lives out. Amen. Yeah. Everything lives out from God. That's God. Amen. That's exist. Preach, we done. Yes, we are. That's why I tell you, a man stand up next to me and try to talk to me, I, he'll be through. He'll be through. Because I'm going right back to Genesis. And that's where I'm going to stay at. And I'm going to preach Genesis. Mm -hmm. not, that, not that this is of me. Mm -hmm. I'm a dumb human being. I'm a dumb man. Is God using me as an instrument speaking through me? That's what he does. And man don't understand that because he's stupid. So he says, the heart of the natural man is more deceitful than any of these things. Talk about the fox, right? Mm -hmm. And the serpent, right? Yes. It say the heart of man is more deceitful than any of these things, and consequently, it is not is not to be known. You don't know yourself. You are lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. The Holy Spirit say, you can't know it. You turn around and say, God, you a lie. I can't know myself if I want to. You a lie. Stop lying. You're going to go to hell for lying. You don't know yourself. The Bible, the Holy Spirit say, the heart of the secret above all things, who can know it? And the heart of the secret above all things is desperately wicked. Who? Has 
the ability to understand and know the, the human heart. No man. So I know myself. God said, no, you don't. So you're going to argue with God and call him a liar. Amen. I'm calling him a liar. Say the heart of the natural man is more deceitful than any of these things, and consequently, is not to be known by him. No mortal, okay? No mortal. That means a human being, not. Huh? It says no m o r t a l. No mortal knows how deceitful his heart is, how much it varies from the law of God, until. The Holy Spirit begins to reveal this to him. It said begin. 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 Every time that you hear me preach the word of God, it should reveal Amen. something to you about yourself Amen. that you didn't even know. Amen. If that is not happening to you, you are not born again. Every time I stand up here and teach, that's why many people don't want to be around me. That's why many people don't want to talk to me. Because every time you talk to me, you're going to find something out about yourself that Amen. you didn't know. Because I'm going to so tell you. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you. Amen. Amen. You're going to find out something about yourself that you didn't know. Because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to get, that's why people don't want to be around you. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to tell you about yourself. I'm telling you something yes. about yourself that you don't know. Well, how do you know that about me and I don't know it? It's in the Word. It's in the Word. Amen. And see, I believe God. You don't. You believe yourself. Right. I don't believe you. I know you are lying. I, I say, I don't say I thought. I know you are lying. All men are lying. All men. Let God be true in every man. That includes you to you, onager. Said, let God be, this is recorded in Romans 3. It said, let God be true. Yes, sir. And every man alive. And I was telling the guy, when Paul made that statement, let God be true and every man alive, he was talking about himself too. Paul was talking about him. Paul was saying, I'm going to lie to Paul lived on, uh, uh, Paul was a murderer. Paul broke every law God had on the book. <laughs> he gave his consent to those when they were stoning Stephen his death. He was standing there watching their clothes. Mm -hmm. They had assigned him so wouldn't nobody steal him, right? right. Mm -hmm. So that means he put his approval on yeah. the book. Yes. Amen. By him just standing there watching their clothes. And they took off their clothes because they didn't want to. <laughs> They filed themselves. <laughs> See, they took off their good, they took off their Sunday bed. They yeah, took their yeah. suit and towel. As moved as the heart of the people above. They was all ready to bow. So they took their good church clothes <laughs> off. Yeah. So they wouldn't get no blood splattered on them or they wouldn't defile them because they had to wear them to church. They had to go into the temple with them all. So they could not kill a man in there because they don't want their their the clothes defiled. You dumb bell, you're defiled within. Amen. And I'm gonna be teaching that today out of the heart. That's what we don't understand. I'm gonna be teaching that today. Out of the heart. That's what I'm gonna teach today. Out of the heart. Out of the heart. Out of the understanding. So it says, no mortal knows how deceitful his heart is, how much it varies from the law of God. They didn't know they was varying from the law of God, did they? No, no. No, until the Holy Spirit began to reveal this to him. The Holy Spirit didn't reveal it to Paul. Paul never would have known how deceitful his heart was, would he? No, he wouldn't. If the Holy Spirit had not revealed that to Paul, Paul never would have known how deceitful his heart was. Right? right. Amen. The heart of man cannot be what, y'all? The heart of man cannot be what? Trust. Cannot be trusted. You can't you trust yourself, <coughs> but we do. Yes, we do. The heart of man cannot be trusted more than a broken tooth or a foot out of joint can be safely trusted. Mm. Now you try to chew with a broken tooth. Mm -hmm. You try you try to walk with a foot out of joint, mm -hmm. a twisted ankle. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You twist your ankle and try to walk on it. Can you trust it? No. Once you twist it, if you take it and you twist it. Can you straighten it back up? Can you trust to put weight on it? No. All right, then. No, no. God said that before you was born. 
That's why you see when they when they torch the angle. It yeah. happened last night in the basketball game. You oh, see the game mm -hmm. last night? Yes, it did. You see when the center <laughs> for uh, North Carolina twisted his ankle? Mm -hmm. He stepped on the man for the twist his ankle. Yeah. He said, I'm gonna lift his foot up and they carry it on. That coach, that's how he went to the locker room. He uh -huh. put a little weight on. Could a little more weight on. Oh, okay. I'm all right. And I said, thank God, because they need him to beat Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Don't like Duke. I don't even know. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I said, thank you, Lord. Lord, please bring him back. <laughs> don't like Duke. Thank you. I said, Lord, please bring him back. I hope thank you, Lord. And they beat him. And you really had to do. I'm not ashamed of my message I preach. Amen. Amen. That's why I talk about this. I'm not ashamed of how I preach. I'm not ashamed of what I I'm know. I'm in this study. Oh, please, please. Read. Oh, the answer is you should go to bed. They, 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 they go lose. He came back. He said he did. That's what it means. So when you read your Bible, because this, this broken tooth is in the book of Proverbs. Yes, it is. In the, in the book of Proverbs, it's talking about a broken tooth. Mm -hmm. So you can't chew with a broken tooth. No, no. Okay. I'm a witness. Okay. But if you got a foot out of joint, I mean, your ankle is twisted. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me? I am. Yeah. It says, this is the part I want y'all to see. So if you got your orange highlighter, you need to highlight this part right here. It says, it is significant. This is the part I want you to see right here in this book. It said, it is significant that man is the only creature on earth which seems to practice self-deception. Now you tell me that ain't deep. Oh. You see, he the only creature. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to create something, J.D.? Okay. Mm -hmm. See, he a creature. Mm -hmm. So how can a creature create something? Okay. He may can invent something, mm -hmm. design something, mm -hmm. but he cannot create nothing. The creation is already here. Oh, and he yeah. take that which is already created and design and make it according to his imagination, right? Yes, he and does. man yes, he destroys does. himself, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh -huh. Look how sad it is when you see somebody killed or shot or something. Well, man did that. God didn't make that gun. No, he didn't. God just left that fool <laughs> there. Yes. Huh? Yes. God just yes. left him alone then. Yes. He just left the fool to himself then. Yes. What the same thing with medicine. High blood pressure pills. That's yes. designed by man. Yes, it is. It'll kill you too, won't it? Yes. Keep taking enough of it. Mm -hmm. Keep taking it for a long time. Wake up. It'll kill you. God didn't make morphine. God didn't make uh, 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 heroin. Man. I didn't make God didn't make marijuana in the form it is now. He made the leaf, the plant. Yeah, man, corrupt. He take everything God made and corrupt. Yes, he does. You gonna tell me man creates? Man ain't crazy. I say if he did, all right, all right. He built the building. Well, he built buildings and houses for people to live in. For who? So <laughs> for, for God? No. no, no. For who? No. He don't. He don't build. He don't take the build. He don't take the plans, and he don't take the. He don't take the plans, and he don't take the ability in his mind to design an event and something to build this complex. For all of these poor folks in the United States of America, I'm gonna give it to them free. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Who, who, who designed and invented the telephone, Jeremiah? You don't know? You gotta be ashamed of yourself. JD? I was there. What was his name? Yeah. Oh, why America get paid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They invented something called patents. Oh, they, 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 wanted, they wanted to took more of the material of God, <laughs> duplicated what he did, uh -huh. huh? Okay. refined it, and now they're getting paid for it. Uh -huh. well, the creation is God's. Mm -hmm. 
Hello? Yeah. Do you know how many telephones it was in the United States of America before you had a cell phone? <coughs> Jeremiah, before it was a cell phone, it was a telephone. Well, Jeremiah, they had one of those all over the United yes, States yes, of America. Mm -hmm. um, and what? And you're going to tell me man created that? No, he didn't create that. Do you know how much material it takes to do that? Do you know how much? I mean, so we don't know when we got tables in there or those minutes. No. So we don't know when we got chairs. Do you know how much material it takes to make a chair and it's chairs in 52 states? Wait a minute. On the whole earth, you know how much material it takes? We don't know when we got shoes, right? No. Oh, okay. You know how much material I take care of? Man don't, man don't create nothing. He take that what God has created, and he invent, and he uses the ability God gave him to, to uh, design for himself. Amen. What? That's deep because Abraham, when they asked when he stopped to build an altar, he didn't cut nothing he built. He bet not. I had, he put it and made it into an altar. He took that what God had already created. Eric is right. He built stones. God said, you shall not lift your hand upon the stone. You lift your hand upon the stone and shape something for me, it's going to make me something. If you lift your hand upon it, I don't want it. When the temple was built, God gave, when the temple and the tabernacle was constructed, God gave them the instructions on how to build it. Yes, he did. Y'all didn't know that? Or yes. did y'all know that? Because yes. 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 I know I taught it to you. And I know I went up there and read it in yes. the book of Genesis. So those of y'all that don't know it, that don't know it, that means you weren't paying attention. Because he put the wisdom and the understanding in them for that, for that project and that project only. Okay. He didn't give them wisdom and understanding for them to understand the law. Right. He gave that to the Levites. Talk back with yes. me. For them to build the tabernacle, he gave that to certain men of the tribe of Judah. Am I right about it? Yes, yes it is. I believe it's in the 32nd chapter of the book of Genesis. I'm not, I'm not a smart man. I'm a stupid man, but I believe by God. I trust by God. He taught me. And when I start talking to men, when I start talking about man, let me explain something to y'all. I don't like man. I like the image of God in man. I'm going to say it one more time. I like that when God breathes into him. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. When he breathes into him, that's the image. Mm -hmm. that's, what I rep that, that's what I represent. That's what I love. The image. Him on the outside, mm -hmm. he's evil as hell. He's just more deceitful than a fox and a serpent. <laughs> you better watch that dude. And when I'm telling you to watch oh, that dude, man. I'm telling your soul to watch oh, you. Because you deceive yourself. Yeah. So it says the heart of man cannot be trusted any more than a broken tooth or a foot out of joint can't be safely trusted. It is significant that man is the only creature on earth which seems to practice self-deception. The fox and serpent <laughs> deceive their pursuers, don't they? Yes. But they don't deceive themselves. The fox ain't chasing his chasing a rabbit, and all of a sudden the fox say to himself, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the other way. He'll be over there in a few minutes. He chasing a rabbit. And he said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn around and go back this way and go around that way. He's going to he stay right on that rabbit. Yep. He's he not going to let that rabbit out of his sight. No, he's not. No, he's going to not let that rabbit out of his sight. He's going to keep that rabbit right in his sight. Yep. Man, don't do that. He can't stay focused. And I was showing that to Glenn. You know what our problem is? We can't stay focused. It's just like I'm looking at this picture right there in the back. I'm looking at this picture in the back, but what's my problem? I got too many distractions, don't I? Mm -hmm. I see him over there with the baby. I see Van right there. I see Mama Brown. I've just seen Rose come out. But I'm supposed to be having my focus on that picture. Mm -hmm. But by my peripheral vision and the way that I can see things, it's hard for me to stay focused because there's too much stuff. Around me, I'm looking directly at that pitch. I can see Carolyn, I can see JD. She mm -hmm. moving over there. I can see Rose wiping mm -hmm. her hand. Eric standing back there. I can yeah. see Glenn standing there. I just seen Bumblebee move. And I'm looking directly. I'm looking directly at the poster in the back. Mm -hmm. I just seen Regina pick her cup up and take a drink, but I'm just distracted at it. Yes, yes, so it's hard for man to stay what? Focused. Oh, that's what causes him to be deceived. If it's I 
is single, come back with me. Oh, it's <laughs> it's I ain't single. That's why he can't do and obey God. Because there's too much stuff around him that's distracting him and holding him back from being focused on God and his word on him. Again, I told Glenn that. It is. You're too distracted. You spoke, you listen to me, and all the time you listen to me, you're, every once in a while you cut the corner of your eye, see it's Carolyn looking at you. you. Cut the corner of your eye, you want to see is man, is they looking at me? I know he just, it, you're too distracted. You're supposed to speak. It's hard for you to keep your mind focused on the word. Tell the truth. Yes. When I'm preaching, it's hard, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to keep your mind on that word of God. You know how much focus it takes for me to preach this word of God? That's why when I preach, I move, I look around. Because I can't preach and just keep my eye on that. I preach it, it's hard for me to stay focused, but I got to make myself stay focused. That's bringing the flesh up under subjection. Make him do right. And that's what we don't do because we think everything he do is, is right already. That's the human man. That's the outer man. That's human reason. It is significant that man is the only creature on earth who seems to practice self-deception. The fox and serpent deceive their pursuers, but not themselves. Paul said, let no man deceive himself, 1 Corinthians 3, 18. 1 Corinthians 3, 18. Why Paul can say that? Because he deceived himself. 1 Corinthians 3, 18 says, let no man deceive himself. 1 Corinthians 3, 18 says, let no man deceive himself. It is indeed peculiar, but yet common, that man whose heart has deceived him, not is deceived him, it has deceived him already, still is, has deceived him 10,000 times, should confide in it as if it had never done so once. <laughs> and as the, yeah. you'll confide in self, and it don't deceive you a thousand times, and you keep going back asking it something. Uh -huh. It don't make a fool out of you, deceive you, and led you astray so many times, and you keep going back to it. You, you got a problem, don't you? Yes, <laughs> now, I like this right here. I like this next statement right here. Because we look up at the top and say, God's word says. Yes, sir. And this is what I want to show you how to set you. And you'll say, well, Dennis said it, the preacher said it. That's how you know your heart deceived you. Anytime you attribute anything that I read out of the Bible to me, and you say, I said it, your heart is deceived. Mm -hmm. Have it. Yes. 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 It yes. says, the Bible says, does it? Yes. It says, the Bible says that man feedeth on ashes. That's self. I'm going to be teaching on this Wednesday. But I wanted to read this. I'm going to read this two or three times. He feed on ashes. What is ashes? The dust and the ground. That's where ashes come from the dust. He feed on himself. He said, he feed it on ashes. A deceived heart has turned to what? A sign. He cannot deliver what? His soul. So why do you keep thinking you can save yourself? Why do, why do people think they can deliver their soul and save themselves without a preacher? They don't believe the Bible. The heart has deceived them, Jeremiah. The heart don't deceive them. I can deliver it myself. I don't need no preacher. All you got to do is show me how to get to the scripture. I can study and read my Bible on my own. Your heart don't deceive you. You cannot deliver self. It's impossible for you to teach yourself. It's impossible for you to teach yourself. It's impossible for you to save yourself. Now, it say the Bible say that. And that's Isaiah 44, verse 20. You feed on ashes. It say the Bible says that man feedeth on ashes. The deceived heart has turned him aside. That he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, is there a, not a lie in my right hand? See what I said? Mm -hmm. let you, he, he won't say he a lie. Right. <laughs> That's how deceived he is. It's a lie in your right hand. The right hand is in, it means that the, the uh, hand of power. In your power, which is your heart, which is your understanding, your, ain't nothing but a what? A lie. A lie. A lie. We need to stop lying. You're going to go to hell. Well, I don't think I'm lying. What just happened? Your heart is <laughs> I don't think, I think what I said and what I'm doing is a lie. I think what I said. I'm telling you how people are. What just happened when you say that? Your heart is The Bible said you are lying. 
I don't think that what I'm saying and what I'm doing is a lie. I don't see it like that. What just happened? Hard to see. Isn't it? <laughs> Ain't you sad? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I keep this book by my bed. Mm -hmm. I keep this book right by my bed. And once in a while, I pick it up and read. And I pray, Lord, deliver me from who? Me. Who I pray, Lord, deliver me from? Me. Lord, deliver me from me because I see my Lord. Deliver me from me. Amen. Save me from me. Save me from me. Amen. Let me deceive myself. Save me from me. Please, Lord, please save me from me. Save me from me. Yes, sir. The Bible says, The man feeded on ashes, a deceived heart is turned to the side that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? Isaiah 44 and 20. The warnings of God. See, it didn't say the warnings of Dennis, J.D., no. Carol, <laughs> Eric, Bumblebee, Rose, John, Glenn, and those who got the book. It said the warnings of God, not the warnings of Dennis. The warnings of God are frequent, not all the time. I'm constantly warning you concerning the deceitfulness of man's heart. The reason for these repeated, 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 repeated. And I told you that time you put, pick up the Bible and read it, it's going to be a warning at first time. These repeated warnings is because man is in danger of deceiving himself. Yeah, I, he goes back again. I like why he keeps saying that God says concerning man in the last days that he will continue deceiving and being deceived in the last days. Here is infallible proof of man's depravity of heart. In this light, whoa, in this what? Continuous existence. In this continuous, this continuous existence, mm -hmm. in this life, how true are the words of Proverbs 28 and 26. He that trusted in his own heart is a what? A fool. fool. You're a fool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you believe what you say? You believe what, you, what yourself tell you? Yeah. You're a fool. Mm -hmm. And if you continue in that and you die like that, what kind of fool is it? A damn fool. Damn fool. Damn. Because <laughs> you know? the Bible says he that believeth it not is what? Damn. 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 That's what it says in, my, in, in, in Mark 16. See, people don't know I be saying scripture. They don't know I quote the scripture. That's mm. 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 But I have a scripture for everything that I say and I do. Amen. God gave Amen. it to me. Amen. I'm not boasting. Oh, no. God gave it to me. I just want to go to the scripture and show you what it says. It's in Matthew 16 if you want to read it. Mm -hmm. At the end of Matthew 16, I can see the scripture right now. Mm -hmm. Now go to the end of Matthew 16 and read it if you want to. Okay. If you want to. It says not only does the Bible say that the heart of man is deceitful, but also what? Destiny. Above, above, oh. above, above, above everything that's on the above oh. Satan. Above. Oh. Above. The depraved heart is so vile that it loves what? Vanity. What else? Vanity. What do it hate? Holy. 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 Hate the preacher, don't you? Oh, yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Hate the preacher. Preacher practice what? Holiness. Holy. Holy. He's supposed to win. Yes, yes, he did. It hates holiness. What else it hate? True. true. Preacher always telling the truth. Yes. Preacher hate lying. What else? It, it, is is it hates doctrine, reproof, and it hates doctrine, reproof, correction, and righteousness. Yes. That's what restrains you. Right. That's what restrains you. Second Timothy three sixteen. Amen. That's what restrains you. It hates doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction. It hates it. It hates holiness. It hates it. Passionately, it hates. Mm -hmm. Do everything you can to keep it away from it, right? Right. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It says, really, it is a den of what? A negative. A pool of stagnant what? Water. A cage of what? Unclean. A sepulchre full of what? Dead. 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 He comes back again. Mm -hmm. Notice he's been saying, God says. Yes, the word says. Mm -hmm. The Bible says. Yeah. 
Say the Bible says, not this, it mm -hmm. is desperately wicked, as if to say the condition could not be what? Worse. Worse. The heart is so wicked that it is torn by wild, fierce, and unhallowed passions. Man is a what? Man is a what? So y'all missed that. See, y'all missed that. No, no. Y'all missed that. You missed it. You want to read? I'll read it again. Okay. It said it is, it is, it said it is filled with unlawful love. I mean, it says the heart is so wicked that it is torn by wild fears, wild fears, wild fears, wild fears, wild fear. Shut up. Wild fears. I'm talking this dude. Wild fears. What? What? It's an animal. There you go right there. Wild and fierce. Mm -hmm. There you go. Unhallowed un 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 means, what did Jesus say? Hallowed be thy name? Mm -hmm. The human beings say, unhallowed be thy name in me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus say, hallowed be thy name. Hagiazo, sanctify, set apart. Be your character in me. The human beings say, unsanctified, not set apart. Part, be your character and authority in me. I will not have you to rule over me. You don't tell me what to do. do. Mm -hmm. The heart is so wicked that it is torn by wild, fierce, and unhallowed passions. Mm -hmm. It is filled with unlawful lusts and sensual desires and evil what? Appetite. I'm going to read this very slow. It sometimes always, always reject mm -hmm. all the time and all the time all the time all the time not sometimes all the time it always oh. reject good well who is good there's only one thing God. God. well you get people you get that human heart something that's from God they're going to reject it it always reject good Give it to him and say, this is, this is the word of God. This is what you need to do. That individual going to reject it. Yes, that individual gets that let me know that the person has an evil heart. They mm -hmm. But it always mm -hmm. chooses self, don't it? Mm -hmm. What's evil? Self. <laughs> it always <laughs> chooses evil. Yes, no. it do. It rejects the word of God. It rejects doing. rejects obedience. It chooses rebelliousness and stuff. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to send you the picture of the uh, uh, of the uh, Young man, I mean, of Cleo. Mm -hmm. That's how he got there. He chose me. He didn't have to be like that. I'll be speaking to you about that after service. He did not have to be like that. He chose that. <coughs> he chose that. That's what he chose. He did not have to be like that. God told him. His pastor told him. He did not have to be like that. No, he did not. He chose evil. What is evil? Self. Self. He chose his deceitful heart. His heart deceived him. That's what happened. Amen. It is wholly corrupt. Holy means complete. Ain't nothing good in it, y'all. Ain't no soundness in it at all. It is completely corrupt and without any soundness in it. It is full of evil. Having nothing but evil throughout its every nook and corner. There is no doubt that man at his best state is altogether vanity. That's Psalms 39. Amen. That's what that scripture. David said, not this. Man is altogether vanity. You take a man, you take, you take Joe Biden, and you take, you take Joe Biden, and you take a crackhead on the street. And you put them in the balance. The balance will be less than nothing. You take Joe Biden, and you take a crackhead on the corner, and you weigh him in the balance, and the balance will be less than nothing. You take Joe Biden, put him on one side. You take Joe Biden. You take Joe Biden. You put Joe Biden on one side, and you put the crack. You put Joe Biden on one side, and you put the crackhead on it. On the other side, both of them weighed together will be less than zero. What is less than zero? Some mathematician in here. Nothing. What is less than zero? Ain't no, ain't nothing less than zero. Mm -mm. 
You took you take Joe Biden and put him on one side. You take a crackhead and put him on the other side. You wear them together just like that, less than nothing. See that gets you killed. Mm -hmm. The first thing Joe Biden gonna go we're gonna start talking about is his what? His pedigree and his education. No, I'm not talking about his pedigree. I'm going to tell you where he came up from. And I was born. My daddy did me like this. And I went to law school and I always been fighting for the black man. And I learned this law. That's what he said. Crackhead ain't got that. No, he didn't. But if you weigh both of them together, you think Joe Biden going to outweigh the crackhead? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. He is worse than the crackhead. Mm -hmm. At least the crackhead knows he's a what? Crackhead. Crack <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt that man at his best state is altogether vanity. All right. Very slow. We do the next five words. Set. He is not himself. That's what his problem is. Okay, so to be man. He does not see himself because he's always comparing himself, J.D., to somebody else. He's always looking at himself and he compares himself with somebody else. And every time you compare yourself with somebody else, you will never what? See yourself. You will never see yourself. Because you're always comparing yourself with somebody else, you'll never what? See you yourself. Never see yourself. Amen, preacher. Amen. You got to look at that scripture. Amen, preacher. I look at that scripture. I look at me. I look at that scripture. I look at me. When I read something, the first person that convicts is me. Amen. 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 I opened up a book last night and I started reading. First person I seen was me. Hmm. It's talking about unjust anger. Hmm. Let me tell you what unjust anger comes from. I just put the book down, <laughs> and I stopped praying. Amen. I just I, uh -huh. put out reading. <laughs> put it down. Conviction. I went straight to the point. Then I picked up the book, and I started reading. Really yes, sir. There's a whole wide put down. I see me. Mm -hmm. That's you, boy. You need prayer. Put it down, and I pray. Mm -hmm. That's you, boy. That's you. Yeah. That's you. When I see the word of God, church, I speak as a foolish man. I see me. I don't like it. I always see me. So anything me tell me, I'm going to guess. Come on. And that's the difference. When you put it down, it wasn't a putting down of rejection. It was a putting down of acknowledgement that it's you, that you needed prayer. You didn't need to read no more. You need to pray at that point. Because if I go past that, I didn't understand that. Now. Because God know I'm convicted on the earth. He know that he has given me that book, right? He know that that book was going to convict me before the foundation of the world, right? And he know I have read this, though. He said, you going to be proud for the keep reading? And I'm going to ask you to forgive me? I ain't get nothing else out of that. Either. Nope. That people don't understand. Let me explain to you some, you guys about conviction and confession that y'all don't understand. Hey, so too Once you're convicted on the word of God, mm -hmm. you say, okay, I'm convicted. I'm going to confess that I have done this and wrong. Mm -hmm. When you confess that you have done it, you've got to make restitution. Yes, sir. You've got to do it. You just don't say, I confess, yes, I'm wrong. I guess I am wrong. I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have done that. You've got to fix it. You, the conviction and the confession is only the beginning of repentance. Repentance is not finished until you do what you didn't do. Yes. Until you do, mm -hmm. you have not confessed. Amen. Now I'm keep telling you, now you can fix it in your deceitful heart all you want to. Yes. Confessing is doing, is recognized as being convicted that I am wrong, recognizing I have omitted what I was commissioned to do. And now I have omit, I omitted it, I confess I was wrong, now I'm going to do it.
Saul kept Agag alive. He confessed, he said, I have sinned. What did he need to do? He needed to kill Agag, which he didn't do. Saul, Samuel takes the sword and he hacked Agag into pieces. So what did he do? He interceded for Saul, didn't he? Yes. Because Saul was supposed to kill Agag. Isn't that what God told him to do? Yes. yes. He didn't kill Agag. When the preacher came to him and and rehearsed to him what God told the preacher to tell Saul to do. Saul say, I have sinned. After Saul say, I have sinned, Saul was supposed to take the sword and he's supposed to finish doing the will of God, which was supposed, which he was supposed to hack Agag into pieces. Since he didn't do it, Saul, Samuel intercedes from Saul, takes the sword, and he hacked Agag into pieces. Then the will of God was done. Until Agag is dead. But the deceitful heart would tell us something different, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, it did. It say, I did. I confess. What more am I to do? Do what you're supposed to do. Do what he told you to do. You didn't do it. And you still ain't did it. You confessed it, but you haven't done it. Takes the scripture, you ain't seen no word in family there. Brother. Brother. Thank you very much. Who is brother? The ones that do the will of God. Who are they? Brother, sister, and mother. What? What you say? Brother, sister, and mother. Thank you very much. When you see the word brethren in the Bible, it includes everybody. <laughs> it's not talking about just males. Right. Amen. Brother and his mother. Right? right. Sister. Right? right? And brother. Right? Right. My mother, my brother, and sister, those who do the will of God, right? right? Will of God. You got to do The will of God is what? Look at the scripture. The will of God is what? To do. 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 That's do. the will of God. You're not doing, you're not God's children. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it very plain. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say confess. I confess, okay, I was wrong, I'm sorry. Now you got to what, JD? Do. do. You got to do. <laughs> Who said that? Who said you got to do? Jesus. Who said you got to do? Jesus. You got to do it. 
Yes, sir. It'll tell you to, to conclude nothing did. No. It didn't tell you to figure nothing out in your mind did. No. It told you to hit to do, right? That's what it's All right, that's what I'm As a matter of fact, I want, I want you to see something else. Go back there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want you to look at this too. Talking about abstract, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Stay exactly where I met you. You don't need to go nowhere. You don't need to come up with an answer outside of the scripture. Mm -hmm. Everybody hear what I say? Yes. yes. So if you don't have no answer out of these scriptures, you, you don't know. Don't try to answer, okay? Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, There came then his brethren and his mother and standing without, sent unto him calling. The multitude sat around him, and they said unto him, Behold, your mother and your brother without seek for thee. He answered them, saying, Who is my mother or, or my brother? He looked around about on them, which said about, about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brother. Whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. All right. Verse number 35 says, The same is my brother and my sister and my mother. What do brother, mother, and sister do? What do brother, mother, and sister have to do to be in the will of God? What do mother, sister, what do, excuse me, brother, sister, and mother, what do they have to do? You need to be looking at the scripture, Mama Rodney, not me. What do brother, sister, and mother have to do to be doing? The will of God. The same as Jesus. What is Jesus doing? <laughs> Since you said that. Rose, I'm talking to Rose. One at a time. One at a time. The will of God. And what is Jesus doing? The will of God. What, what is that? What is he doing? That's what I'm asking. What is the act? What is the what is he performing? Ah, you wrong. Next. <laughs> what? Forsaking his blood. That I told you don't answer if you don't see that in the scripture. You don't see no forsaken in there. I told you don't do that. Ain't no, he ain't forsaken nothing. Now that's wrong. Bah! Yes. 
after we had his sister called him mm -hmm. all the time. And then his sister says to him, I just called you Bubba. Yeah. His name ain't Bubba no more. <laughs> but that's what they called him when he was young. So I just called you to let you know I love you. Mama Rhonda asked him, why does she keep calling you talking about she loves you? So Van called me to check on me to see how I was doing. Told me I was doing all right. And the topic came up. I said, Van, you shouldn't be talking to her. She's a Jehovah Witness. I said, Van, that's not your sister. You shouldn't be talking to her. I said, she's in your house. She's in your house because she called on the phone. And when you call on the phone, now she's in the house. <coughs> I said, not only is she in your physical house, she's in your abstract house. Because a voice is in his house. Mm -hmm. I said, you know she's a joke. No. Yeah. I said, then Jesus mm -hmm. said in the second mm -hmm. job, you're not supposed to bring him into your house. Mm -hmm. I said, now she mm -hmm. says she loves you, which we know is a phileo. She got affection for you. It's not a mm -hmm. I said, but you're supposed to love her. Mm -hmm. I said, you're supposed to love her. I said, so what you need to do is you need to tell her. Hey, look, man, you don't believe the same things. Da, 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 da. You're not my sister. He said, okay, preacher, I understand. He said, the next time she called me, I'm going to tell her. I said, what you waiting for her to call you for? You call her back. He said, I'm going to do that. Then calls her back. He get his scripture together. He prays and his wife. And they open their Bible, have everything laid out what he's going to say to them. He calls and he tells me what he sees. He said, preacher, I told him, sister, you say you love me. Now, you don't love me. Two came up, he said, some other things he did. God let him. And he told me everything he did. After he told his sister, that Jehovah Witness, what he said, so you probably thinking right now, it's going to be an evil report. Right. She said, thank you. I want to know Jesus so bad. Mm -hmm. yes, See, it never turns out like you think it's going to turn out. I say, man, it did not turn out like we thought it was going to turn. It never is going to turn out like you think it's going to turn out. Never! Amen. I said, man, we don't know how they are hurting. We don't know what they need. All we're supposed to do is give them that light, give them that truth, and let God do the rest. No, we don't want to do it because we don't want to go through the consequences of suffering and ridicule, persecution, and shame. If it comes, Van tells her that. She said, thank you so yes, much. Sir. I want to know Jesus so bad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go study these scriptures. Can I call you back? Yes. Mm -hmm. I said, see, Van, no. we never know what God is doing. No, 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 no. We don't know. And it turned out to be some positive instead of some negative. Amen. And I'm the whole she said, I want to know Jesus so bad. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is a testimony she don't know of and where she at, she's not learning him. So I said Philippians, right? Yes. So we hold our place here. So now we go to my Philippians. This is how I was starting the message off this morning. Am I right about it? Yes. Go to Philippians. This is what I was starting off with this morning. Go to Philippians chapter 3. Finally, my brother, rejoice in the Lord to write the same thing to you, to me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. To preach the same things to you, J.D., to me, truly, is not grievous, but for you it is safe, J.D., that I keep preaching these same things over and over to you. Amen. It's safe. You don't know what you need. Because your heart is what? See, see, you don't know what you need. Why he keep preaching the same thing? Why he keep going over there? Because it's for you and it's faith. 
For you are the same. Yes, it is. So now you can tell that dog goes to sleep my heart. Shut up talking to me. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. Beware mm -hmm. dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit, abstract, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, abstract. Have no confidence in the flesh human beings. No confidence in human reason at all. No confidence in a deceitful heart. Though I might also have confidence, if any go concrete, in the flesh, he's concrete now, mortal, physical. If any other man, he's talking concrete, he's talking physical, he's talking mortal, thinking that he have wealth, he might trust in his human reason, in his body, in his flesh, in his accomplishments in the world, he's talking physical, I'm mortal. Circumcised the eighth day, flesh of the stock of Israel, flesh, tribe of Benjamin, flesh, Hebrew of the Hebrews, flesh, as touching the law of Pharisees, all that is concrete, that's in the world, concerning, concerning zeal, his emotions, and his thoughts and his feelings, am I right about it? Right. Okay. Persecuted the church, that was concrete, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. He was evil as hell, wasn't it? Yes. yes, he was. He was evil. He was a liar, was he? Yes. He did not love God. Did. No. He thought he loved he God. Did. Yes. He no. thought he loved no. God. Did. Yes. He thought he was doing the will of God. Did. Yes. He thought he was fighting for his family. He thought he was fighting for his right. Did. He thought he was right. Did. Yes. Yes. Touching the righteousness which is the law of blameless. But what things were gained to me, you got to lose. Anything that is for you, that is gained for you, you got to lose. Any, anything that is gained for you, profitable to you, you gotta lose it. You gotta lose it. And who you lose it for? Christ. You lose it for Christ. Yet doubtless, I count all things lost. The all things is from verse four through six. That's the all things. The all things is verses four through six. Yet doubtless, I count all things lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, that's abstract. For whom I have suffered the loss of four through six. And do count them D-U-N-G, human excrement. That's what I count them. Dumb. That I may win abstract Christ and be found abstract in him, not having mine own, four through six, which is of the law, by, but that which is through the faith of Christ, abstract, the righteousness which is of God by faith, which he preached in Romans chapter three, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship, joint participation. Joint! Joint! Not participating by myself. Not participating and, 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 and having companionship the way I think. Amen. Joint! So if it's joint, that means it's not according to your decision by yourself. It's got to be joint. Amen. Amen. It's got to. It can't be single participation. Well, I think I should be doing this. I don't think I should be doing that. That's single. Mm -hmm. It's got to be joint participation. Not, not, not you saying. Well, I don't think that the Word of God is telling me to do all that. That's called single. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. We got to be joint participation. Joint. Joint. When he sent the apostles out, he sent them out one by one. Two by two. No, he sent them out one by one. No. He gave Paul no joint participation. Paul was just out there by himself. Paul had Timothy did. Yes. And Barnabas, Barnabas got with him. Yes. Then he had Epaphroditus and everybody else. They were joint participation, right? Right. Yeah. Joint. 
Not, not, I don't think God don't want me to do this. I think that what you're telling me to do is not scripture. That's not joint participation. That's not, that's not even the word participate, is it? No. You can't participate by yourself, can you? No. Oh, no. But you, yes, you can. You can, you can. When you what? Deceive. When you're evil and you deceive. Yes. Because when you participate with it, <laughs> you best believe you participated with human reason. If you're yes, a human reason, who are you participating with? Per se. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we don't understand nope. that I may know him. You can't know him by yourself. Preach. No, you can't. No. I give you scripture that I may know him and the power. You don't know the power of resurrection. You got to know the power of resurrection. What is resurrection? The gospel. The power of resurrection. The power of resurrection. The fellowship of his sufferings, mm -hmm. not yours. Mm -hmm. You don't learn the fellowship of Christ's suffering self except in what? Participation. Join. Mm -hmm. Be ye, be ye made. What's going to make it? Join participation. That's what's going to make it. Fellowship. That's what's going to make it. Yes, he is made conformable unto his death, not you having your way. Mm -hmm. Do everybody understand? Do you not see this? Mm -hmm. If my, if you cannot go to heaven by yourself, no, you, you can't. Nobody. You got to have joint participation. You got to have the afflictions which Christians must undergo in behalf of the same cause. That's what the word pathema means. Pathema. That's the word suffering. P-A-T-A-G-M-A, the afflictions which Christians must undergo in behalf of the same cause. Mm -hmm. That's in joint participation. Mm -hmm. Fellowship is intimacy and intercourse. It's the word kononia. K-O-I-N-O-N-I-A. It's the different word from 2 Corinthians, which is word matoke, which I told you Thursday. There's two words in the Bible for fellowship in the New Testament. It's the word metoche, M-E-T-O-C-H-E, and then you got kononi. Verse number 11. If, based on the condition, what is the condition? That I have the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. Conformable was the word so more full of. You best believe it. All of that is fellowship. Attain is the word katakayo. It means come to arrive. And you can't do that by yourself, church. This is not talking about showing up on Thursdays and Sundays. This is not talking about that. You gotta stop going into human reason and telling yourself you're doing something you ain't doing. You gotta be sad among and around. It's gotta be joint. Verse number 11. If by any means I may obtain unto the resurrection of the dead eternal life. Verse number 12 says. Look what verse number 12 says. Those who believe they don't have to do this think they already have attained. Not as though I had already attained. I though were already perfect. I follow. Mm -hmm. I follow. No. Mm -hmm. I follow. Yeah. If that I may apprehend that resurrection of the dead for which also I am apprehended of Christ. What have I been apprehended of Christ for? Fellowship of his suffering. Joint participation. Brethren, wait a minute. What did he say? What did he did? Mother, mother, mother okay. sister, brother, 
I count not myself to have apprehended one thing I do. Something you got to do, church. You got to do it. Forgetting mm -hmm. everything, Carolyn, from the time you came here, Carolyn, all the way up to this point right here where you went, you forget everything that you don't went through. Forget that. Garbage. Forget it. Everything that's what? Mm -hmm. I'm keep passion and bring up behind me. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> It's in the bedroom. Send me an offering every month. I want to read you what these individuals say. Dennis, please, could you warn people to be careful studying with the Hebrew Israelites? A lot of them does not have no truth. No, none of them don't have no truth. They are reading and giving people false information. They are like the Pharisees 2,000 years ago. Please, they are giving the people false doctrine, false faith. Please warn them. Mm -hmm. They don't study the word or Greek or Hebrew in the Bible. They don't do it. Now what this individual need to do is, because the individual left to go to the Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now the, he, the individual found out that the Hebrew Israelites is a lie. But what the, what, the, what, the, what the individual need to do is forget those things behind yes. and come have joint petition, participation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to come back here and sit down. Mm -hmm. Don't sit yes. down. So I'm telling you, you know who you is that wrote this. What you need to do, you need to come back and get in these seats again, right? Mm -hmm. you need to come Amen. back Amen. and sit among us, right? Yes. yes. Who is my mother? Who is my sister? Who is my brother? Those that sat around him did. Yes. yes. Am I inventing or creating a doctrine trying to make this individual come back? No. no. I gave him scripture. They come back fine, they don't come back fine. I have did what I was supposed to do. You didn't leave it alone. You don't worry about the consequences. Now somebody will say he's trying to make her come back. No, I didn't. I read Mark. I go read it again. I read Philippians. I go read it again. And then I warn her, right? Yes, sir. Or we'll warn him, right? Yes, sir. Let's be free. What? Be I know it's deep. He sent you a letter to warn somebody. God said, no, I'll warn him. You best believe it. I've been waiting. I've been wanting to write that individual a letter, haven't I, Charles? Oh, yeah. I've been holding back. I've been holding back. See, God, you're fixed. No. They don't need to be warned. You need to be warned. An individual needs to come and sit back in that seat that he or she was in mm -hmm. before they left and went to the Hebrew Israelites. All right. And found out what false doctrine was. See, you just can't confess. Mm -hmm. You gotta what? Do. 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 You gotta do. Captain, mm -hmm. amen. Don't teach y'all nothing. Don't teach nobody. You gotta do now. Yes, she do. They watch her for a long time. And finally, she, finally, he or she got their breakthrough, right? Right. Now you gotta do it, don't you? Yeah. That's how people live. They don't wanna do. Nope. They want to acknowledge truth. They want to confess truth. They don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind reaching forth. You got to do something unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. It's not just a calling. It's a high calling to put an adjective on it. It's from above. In Christ Jesus. Now we go back over to the book of Mark. Back over to the book of Mark. Amen. I got something to show you. <coughs> Coming through with Mark. So we have the book of Mark. Say, then 
came, there came then his brethren, his mother, and standing without, sent unto him, calling him. The multitude sat around him, right? Mm -hmm. Mother, the, the, the mother and the brethren, standing, standing, right? Mm -hmm. They standing, they should be, thank you, around him. They standing outside, mm -hmm. where they should be on the inside, sitting around him. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Hello? Amen. Say the multitude sat around him and they said unto him, Behold your mother and your brother and without. Without doing what? Amen. Standing. Amen. Seek for you. They need to come in and what are Thank you. He answered them saying, Who is my mother and my brother? And why y'all think he keeps saying set about him? Why y'all think he wrote that? Why y'all think the Holy Spirit had set about him? They say set about him. In verse 30, why do y'all think he says the Bible right like that? I, I be really wondering, do y'all really be seeing what he's saying? You gotta be sitting around him, not one time, all the time. You gotta, he's here. He walk in the midst of the golden candlestick. Mm -hmm. It's abstract. You gotta be sitting around him, hearing him. Amen. You can't be standing without talking about you need to warn people. You, uh, they believe them, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't they? Yeah. Do his mother believe? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Do his brother believe? Yes. But they stand in the wrong place. Yeah. At the right time. See, you can be at the wrong place at the right time, can't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're in the wrong place outside at the right time when they should be on the inside. They're at the wrong place, but it's the right time for them to be around them, but they're in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all be seeing all that. Mm -hmm. okay, but they be on too. He just told them what they need to do, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Y'all need to come in here and sit down because I'm not coming out there. <laughs> but he told them, y'all need to come in here and sit down. Wait a minute, this ain't all now because this Mark's account, we got to look at Luke account and we got to look at Matthew account yes. so we can get the full, full thrust of the match because he mm -hmm. said three times. Mm -hmm. Now this is Mark. Now we're going over to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew, chapter 12. Uh -huh. Go to Matthew, chapter 12, verse 46. I always say the best for last, don't you? No, you don't. Come on, honey, go to Matthew 12. Matthew 12, 46, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll go to Matthew 12, right? Mm -hmm. We go to Matthew 12, and we go to verse number 46. Matthew 12. Yes. And we go to verse 46, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, here's Matthew 12, and then verse 46. It says, while he yet talked to the people. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. It says, over here it says, talk to the people. Mm -hmm. Over well, Mark said the people were sitting down. He talked to the people while the people were sitting down. Right? Mm -hmm. He said he talked to the people, right? Mm -hmm. He said he talked talk to the people. When he talked to the people, he talked to the people while the people were sitting down. Right? We got mm -hmm. together. You can't just take one uh, and, and create a whole doctrine out of it. He just talked to the people. His mother and his brother, y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Stood without him. Right? Yes. They was doing something good. They had a desire to speak with him, right? Mm -hmm. No, you don't speak with him. You come in, you sit down, and you listen to him. Verse 47 said, Then one said unto him, Behold, your mother and your brother stand without desiring to speak with thee. He answered and said unto them that told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brother? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples. What do he do with his disciples? What do Jesus do with his disciples? Huh? I ain't got time. He talk to them while he's sitting down. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all forget, y'all don't forget what you were in Mark. And I told you, you got to go over here to see what else he said. He talks to them. He preaches to them. How about they standing on the house side while they sitting down around him? That's what it says. Behold my mother, my brother, whosoever shall do the will of my father. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What did he say over here? What did he say, Mark? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. He said, will of God. Mm -hmm. Over here he said, will of my father. Uh-oh. Will of my father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He said the will of my father. Will of God is that you sit around him, right? Mm -hmm. Sit around, right? Right? Sit about so he can talk to you, right? 
Right? Amen. That's what he's saying. He sit around talk to the disciples. Right? That's the end. Yeah, you're right, preacher. They don't have got to say it, preacher, though. The word say it. That's what it says. He said, those are my, those are my. The same as my brother, my sister, and my mother. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we got Mark, we got Matthew. Let's get the main one. This is the This is nailed in the cross. This this hammers it down. This lays it wide open right here so we can truly understand. We go to Luke chapter 8. We go to verse number 19. We got Luke chapter 8, and we go to verse number 19. Amen. It says, verse 9, 19, Then came to him, mother and his brother, could not come in at for the press. That's the multitude. It was told him, which said, your mother, thy brother, and stand without desiring to see thee. This is the best account of it right here. Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, My mother, my brother, are these which hear the word of God. And what they hear, they do it. They do it. Mm -hmm. They don't question it. They don't analyze it. That's what the Pharisees did. Mm -hmm. Everything Jesus said, they questioned it, they analyzed it, they examined it, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. One of their main, one of their main accusations against him was, who gave you this authority? The number one question they kept asking him is, who gave you this authority over? Main question was, who gave you authority over us? Who gave you authority to do what you are doing? That was their number one question. Where did you get your authority from? Who gave you that authority to do what you are doing? You don't question. He told you to hear. He told you to do it. That word preached, what that word preached says, is that what you do. You don't come and say, well, I don't believe God is telling me not to do it, telling me to do it like you say do it. You can't find that in scripture nowhere. That's called, that's called reasoning. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't want to what? Do mm it. -hmm. You don't want to do it. So that is, Israel never wanted to do anything the prophet says. You got to do it. You got to hear it. I expound it. I explain it. You do it. Mm -hmm. Not question. You just got to hear it and you got to look. To do it, you got to do it. You don't reason. Now, let's go over to. I'm going to show you the pro. I'm going to show you a, a pro the procedure of, of the reasoning process. What I'm going to show you? The procedure of the reasoning oh, process. Oh, oh, oops, oops, oops. Hmm. Of the reasoning process. Mm -hmm. well, we had up here Lego, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. L E G O, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lego is a systematic, right? Mm -hmm. Systematic, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Systematic. Is set, ain't it? Yes, it is. Right? <laughs> set, right? Yes. It's a systematic and a set and a discourse, right? Mm -hmm. Discourse is something you speak, isn't it? Yes. Is it? Do you know what discourse means? Do I have to define everything, right? So discourse. So in a systematic set discourse, I had up here Psalms, correct? Mm -hmm. One one nineteen, right? Right. In eighty nine. Right? Right. right. All right. Now, tell us we don't add to and we don't take away, right? Right. When we add to and take away, when we add to and take away is our opinion, right? Right. right. So you're not supposed to add your opinion to the Word of God. 
and you're not supposed to take God's truth from out of the Word of God and reason with it. Okay? And they're not supposed to do that. I said, see, see, I keep saying what? Do, do. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to hear and you're supposed to do it. And we're going to go through scripture, right? I'm going to show you the process of reason. But I'm going to show you the process of reason, okay? Because I love you. Because I love you, I want you to be in reason. Reason is going to get you sent to hell. Reason is evil. All right? Let's finish reading. Let's finish reading the book. One thing I'm going to finish reading the book. Can we go right here? We stop at page 16. All right? He yes. said he does not see, he does not see what? Himself. Y'all lost. Y'all lost. I said the yes. book. People are lost. He yes. does not see himself nor know himself to be the rotten-hearted sinner that Dennis sees him to be. Uh -uh. God sees him to be. God sees him to be a what? Rotten-hearted sinner that God sees him to be. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. And his word describes him to be. The word describes you to be a rotten Right? Yes. Heart yes. center, right? Yes. Right? Yes. The word described. The I word. never described a man. Nope. I did not say a man was a wild ass coat. No, you did. No, I did not. You say, yes, you did. I just heard it out of your mouth. Oh, no, I just repeated what God described him to be. Mm -hmm. The Bible describes man. Yes, it does. The Bible describes you. I don't tell you you is this, you is that. The Bible already don't describe you to me. I believe it, you don't. Because your mm -hmm. heart is evil. I believe the description that God gave in his word concerning man is true. Mm -hmm. I, I believe the description that God gave man to be true. I believe how God describes man in the scripture is true. So people don't understand that. When I say man is a wild ass coat, that's the description that God gave man. He said, Ishmael shall be a wild man. That's the word honor. It's the word teres, P-E-R-E-S. I believe what God says. God describes man. I don't describe man. We are one accord. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, he does not see himself, nor knows himself to be the rotten hearted sinner that God sees him to be, and his word describes him to be. Would you believe, here we go, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Would you believe that the average religious person and faithful church member do not believe that man's heart is what God says it is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They don't believe God. Don't believe they do not believe what God says their heart is. Not me. Mm -hmm. Not Jeremiah. They do not believe God. Why you keep, why you keep thinking I keep saying, people don't believe God. They don't believe the description of themselves as God describes them in the word of God. Your husbands, your wives, your children, your nieces, your nephew, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, they're not coming here. Why? They don't believe the description of themselves that God gives in the Bible. They believe what I taught Thursday night, you do not discuss human nature. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's a taboo. Right. Taboo. You do not discuss human nature in society. That's a taboo. Mm -hmm. In all societies, you do not discuss human nature. They do not believe the description that God has given of themselves in the Bible. Mankind do not believe the description that God has given of themselves in the Bible. They don't believe it. Why do you think I keep telling you they don't believe God? But see, you don't understand because you say they do believe God. No, they believe in the, this is what they believe. We, how you going to tell me, how you going to say you know what they believe? Because they don't believe the description that God gives. They believe in the idea. That's different than believing God. They believe in the idea of God. They say, yes, I believe there is a God. But the description 
that you say, the description that you give of me, I don't believe I'm like that. Mm -hmm. The description that you read in the Bible and say that I am like that, I don't believe that. I don't believe I'm like that. I don't see myself like that. Mm -hmm. Right? right? He does not see himself. <laughs> I don't see myself like that. This is how I see myself. I know how God describes mankind, not me, <laughs> in the Bible, but I don't see myself like that. Mm -hmm. What is that? The deceived heart. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. Because God didn't exclude you. He didn't put everybody except J.D. <laughs> I don't see that in the Bible. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all with me? Amen. I'm going to read that again. Would you believe that the average religious person and faithful church member do not believe that man's heart is what God says it is? There are many who may give intellectual assent. What that mean? They agree in their mind. They they agree. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Hello? What is intellectual assent? What is intellectual assent? What is intellectual assent? Idea of God. I agree intellectually that there is a God. That's the intellectual assent. Assent means a man. Intellectual sin is I agree that there's a God. Right. But that what you're reading and saying about me, that ain't me. <laughs> Hello? But well, that what you're reading and saying about me ain't me. Because we're going to read something. We're going to read something. We're going to read mine. Okay. It says, there are many who give intellectual assent to this teaching. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? 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 They give intellectual assent to the teaching, right? Right. Right. So we hold up, put our books down, we put that book down, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Right? We go back to our, we go back to our, uh, we put that book down, we pick this book back up again, mm -hmm. right? We go back to page 319, right? Okay. Supposed to be there already, so okay. next time don't lose your page, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go back to page 319. Because mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're assumed we are assumed Emma, assumed Jesus, right? Right. We just a paradox. You know, everything got to stop at the scripture, all right? right. Everything got to stop at scripture, right? right. So we go to page 319. We go to the bottom of the page. It said, if God treats his saints in such a manner as has been said, then we may learn the extent of his sovereignty toward all mankind. So divine sovereignty is one of the plainest doctrines of the gospel. Yet it is so disagreeable to the human heart, right? right? There we go right there. So disagreeable to the human heart means they only give intellectual assent. There you go right there. There you go right there. It says, it says, yet it is so, at the bottom of 319, mm -hmm. yet it is so disagreeable to the human heart. What is disagreeable to the human heart? What the Bible describes them to be. Okay. That's disagreeable to a human heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. To a human heart, that is disagreeable. I am not like that. I know that that is what the Bible says, but I am not like that. That's disagreeable to a human heart. Yes, it is. Right? Yes, sir. They give intellect. I know there's a God. Mm -hmm. That's intellectual sin. But how the Bible describes me to be, what it says that I am, I am not like that. I know me. Right? That's what it says. So y'all can understand your book. Because y'all don't be, I know y'all don't be understanding what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking it down as yeah. best I can. Because I know y'all don't be understanding what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They believe in an idea of God. They don't believe God. It's the difference in believing God. And believing in an idea of God. Okay? Yeah. Turn your Bible to the book of Hebrews. Turn your Bible to the book of Hebrews. Turn your Bible to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Go to Hebrews, chapter 11. Go to Hebrews, chapter 11. Hebrews, chapter 11. 
Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter Amen. 11. Are y'all with me? Yes. yes. Y'all with me? Amen. Hebrews 11, right? Yeah. We're at Hebrews 11, right? Amen. Amen. We look at verse number uh, 1. Right? right. They say, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right? Right. The evidence of things what? Not right. seen. For by faith the elders obtained a good what? Report. Report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. All things was made by him. Without him was not anything made. It was made, right? Right. right. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do what? Appear. So the tree didn't come from another tree. Flower didn't come from another flower. Which come first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. The chicken. It answered the question for us. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right? So it wasn't the egg first, then the chicken. It was the chicken, then an egg. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Amen. Right? Yes. It was children first, then the parents. It was the parents, then the children. Any <laughs> <laughs> people, Jay, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sick of a human being. I'm sick of them. It's getting, church, y'all don't see it's getting worse and worse. Yes, it is. Are y'all blind? Yes, y'all so blind, yes, y'all don't see that they throwing the word of God in the garbage? Mm -hmm. I hope y'all do. It said, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. It just said he did a better job than Cain did. That's all it said. Mm -hmm. By which he obtained witness. The sacrifice is what witness to him, not his 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 his, his doing it, right? Mm -hmm. He just offered a better sacrifice. The sacrifice was what was accepted, not him. Mm -hmm. The sacrifice was in his place. It's called sacrifice. It, many people don't know what sacrifice means. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice means it's something in the place of something else. Mm -hmm. It's a sacrifice. Or to give oneself up, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. By faith, Abel, Abel offered, not himself, mm -hmm. he offered unto God more to the sacrifice that came, by which at more excellent sacrifice, he obtained witness that he was righteous. What made him righteous? Him or the sacrifice? Sacrifice, yeah. sacrifice made him righteous. Mm -hmm. God testifying of his gifts, not testifying the witness of him. Hello? Mm -hmm. Of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet what? Yeah. Here we go right here. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, was not found because God had translated him. But before his translation, he had this testimony that he did what? Please, please God. God. You can't please God and man at the same time. No, you can't. This is what got the, uh, that individual laying on his bed right now. <laughs> because he tried to please man. You can't please man and God at the same time. No, you can't. It's not going to work. No, it's not. It's not going to work. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. I'm going to read this very slow. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is a Jehovah, self-existing one. I am continuous existing. He got to believe that he is God. Mm -hmm. What else does he have to what else does he have to do? Something got to do. Is it, is it something he got to do? What does he got to do? What else does he got to do? Don't say no here and there, Carol. I'm always doing that. Y'all do that all the time. Ain't nothing in that verse. Where's it in that? Show me. Somebody talk. Somebody show me. No. I said, what is it he got to do? I said, he got to do. What he got to do? Y'all, y'all, you don't see what he got to do? Yeah. What he got to do? Yeah, how can y'all believe? No, don't. What he got to do? He must believe that he is. He does that. And? He has to diligently seek him. Diligently! Seek him. Thank you very much. How do he do that? He said, around him. Amen. He got to come sit down. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Amen. Yeah, I told you all you got to do is read your scripture. Yes. Say nothing about no here and there. Uh -uh. You ain't saying nothing about here. 
Say, but our faith is impossible to please God, for he that comes to God must believe that he is. He is a rewarder of them. I ask you what he got to do. Diligently! Yes, yes, diligently. Mm -hmm. The word diligently seeking means that he got to require you. He got to investigate. He got to demand. He got to search him out. What are you going to find him in? You best believe it. Through how? How? I wish I had a witness. Good. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for it. Amen. You got to believe. You can't believe in an idea. You got to diligently seek him, not draw conclusions. You got to pray. I pray this is what your sister was saying today. Yeah, I do too. Amen. I pray that this was what she was saying. Yes. Without faith is it impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. Not having an idea. Right. He Amen. said believe he is. Mm -hmm. Not having an idea. <laughs> and then believe he is and he is a rewarder. Yes. But you got to do something before you get the reward. They yes, put, sir. That's the English language. They put the reward mm -hmm. before the death, in front of the diligently seek. The mm -hmm. seek. So you must believe, it should read, you must believe, he that comes to God must believe that he is and diligently seek him and he will be rewarded. Mm -hmm. okay. That's how it reads. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So that's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. So how you did you seek him? I hear, mm -hmm. I sit around, mm -hmm. I hear, and I do. It say hear, do. It say nothing else with that. It say hear, hear. do, mm -hmm. hear, do, mm -hmm. hear, do. Cause I'm finna show you something. Yeah. I'm finna show you something in a minute. I'm finna show you something. I'm finna show you the process of human reason. Show mm -hmm. you something. Mm -hmm. What gets people in trouble? I'm finna show you. Don't worry, I'm show you. Right. So. So, we go back to the book. Go back to the book. Page 16. We go back to the book. It says, Would you believe that the average religious person and faithful church member do not believe that man's heart is what God says it is? They don't believe in the scripture. There are many who may give intellectual assent to uh -huh. this teaching, right? Yeah. To this teaching. So, I hold my place at the teaching. I go back to the instructions of the afflicted. And when I go back to the instruction of the afflicted, it says at the bottom page on 319 in the instructions of the afflicted. You just got to keep the book out. In the instruction of the afflicted, at the bottom of the page it says, yet it is so disagreeable, right? Yes. Right? Yes, yes. That means that they give an intellectual, uh, an intellectual assent to the teaching, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right? And then it says, it says, yet it is so disagreeable to the human heart that many are unwilling to watch up. Believe. They are willing to believe in divine sovereignty, right? right. We on page 319 and at the bottom of the page. Yes. And then it says, unwilling to believe and acknowledge, right? Right. And acknowledge it in its what? Fullest. Fullest extent, right? Yes. It says they will allow that he acts as a sovereign in creating, preserving, and governing the what? Yeah. But they will not allow that he acts as a sovereign in governing the what? Yeah. And so we go back to the book. We stop the teaching, right? Yes. It said, who have never believed it from the heart because of being taught it by the Holy Spirit while under the conviction of sin. The Holy Spirit never talked to him while he was under the conviction of sin, right? Right. And then it said, many of the church people of our day have never had this truth experimentally revealed to them through the searching, probing, plowing work of God, the Holy Spirit. They did not diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. There you go right there. The searching, probing, plowing work of God, the Holy Spirit is they did not diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. That's what the, the searching, probing, plowing work of God, the Holy Spirit, is they did not diligently seek Him. Okay. It says every individual that God sets apart for salvation, mm -hmm. hello? Mm -hmm. He cuts apart with the knife of the holy law, reveals to him, thereby the truth concerning the pollution and plague of his own heart, right? Amen. Right? Amen. Right? Yes. It is both obvious, ain't it? Yes. And remarkable to me, and it is to me too, Mr. Crew, that many religious people do not know and prize Christ. 
They don't jointly participate, do they? Huh? They say, see how everything brought along with what I read? See how everything is put together with what I read? Y'all do y'all are afraid you see it. Amen. Right? Right? They don't press toward the mark. Right. Press toward the mark is the same as diligently seeking him, right? Yes, press yes. toward the mark is searching, probing, plowing work of God, the Holy Spirit, Amen. right? They don't believe him. Amen. <laughs> they believe in the idea of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't believe God. Oh no. <laughs> they don't believe God. Wow. They don't believe God. So when they don't believe God, they're going to question, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to reason, ain't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to say, well, I don't think God will because they don't believe God, do they? No. They, don't, they just got an idea. They just intellectually in their mind say, yeah, I believe God. Yeah, there's a God. But I don't think he's saying this. I don't think he's doing this. Just hang in there with me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in the scripture. Amen. Okay? Okay? It says, it says, y'all, you, you read it? Yeah. Yes. It says, the reason is God has never showed them what? Their yeah. heart. Well, let me say it's God going to show you your heart this morning. Oh, man. Ooh. I'm going to say it's God going to show you your heart. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you your heart. Amen. Amen. The name of the DVD is Preacher Shows the Heart. Shows man his heart. I'm going to show you your heart. Ooh. Amen. I'm going to show you your heart. Mm -hmm. What I say? You're going to show me my heart. heart. What I say? You're going to show me my heart. heart. What I say, Jamie? You're going to show me my heart. I'm going to show you your heart. Amen. Amen. And people ain't going to believe yeah. what God says about my heart. Their, their heart. heart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you your heart. Yeah. So go in this word of God, I'm going to show you your heart. Amen. Okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's a systematic set discourse, right? Yeah. That's the word of God, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Already said, right? Already said. I told you to go to Psalms 119, right? Psalms we'll go to Psalms 119, maybe now. Okay. Amen. Amen. Go to Psalms 119. Mm -hmm. We'll go to Psalms 119. Psalms 119, verse 89. Are you there? Amen. Amen. If you're there, it says, Forever, O Lord. That means he don't what? <laughs> that means what? That means he do not change. That means he does not change. Forever, mm -hmm. O oh Lord, Jehovah, yes. self-existent one, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Mm -hmm. Your word is settled. Your word is not solved. The systematic set this course is already set. It's settled. Not solved. That word not solved means appointed. It, what'd you say? It means appointed. Yes, it is. I already gave it to y'all, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It's already appointed. Mm -hmm. You just don't what? Believe it. Believe it. You just don't believe it. Mm -hmm. It's already settled, established. It's not going to change. Mm -hmm. I don't care what your reasoning process, what excuse. What you is already established, is settled, right? Mm -hmm. It was. It's upright. It's upright, right? Mm -hmm. Where it? In heaven. In heaven. It's mm -hmm. not going to change. It's already established. It's appointed. Mm -hmm. It's appointed. So I said I'm showing you your heart. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You didn't see your heart. Now, you did Philippians. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's go to it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go to it. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Chapter 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mark. Mm -hmm. Chapter 7. Mm -hmm. 
particular act, the particular yes. action. The action is the rule and the order, right? Mm -hmm. I'll just put particular action, right? Particular action, right? Right? Yes. Determine, all right? Yes. You're going to determine who's going to rule me, who's going to order me, right? 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 Yes. I'm going to use my, for, and I'm going to use my reason to do that. Okay. I'm use my reason to do that, right? Right. So that's, that's part of our understanding. Mm -hmm. My conscience is going to determine that particular action, who's going to rule, who's going to order me. I'm going to use my reason for that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We don't want to go. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and it is more, more principal parts of the ruling order, okay. the whole man, right? Mm -hmm. All my action, everything I do, the whole man. Yeah. 
For that reason, mm -hmm. conscience is placed in the soul mm -hmm. to be the wagoner. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me go back. Mm -hmm. Understanding is that faculty in the soul. What that will use reason. Understanding is the more principal part, serving the rule in order to hold men. For that reason, mm -hmm. understanding is placed in the soul to be as the wagoner in the wagon, right? Mm -hmm. So the understanding is a driver, right? Yes. The wagon is the soul, right? Yeah. So the understanding is the driver of the soul. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> I got it written down here already. A boy took me a long time to understand this. I read this very, very slow and I wrote it down. Oh, okay. Right. So now we move to the will. Yeah. The will is another faculty whereby yeah. we do mm -hmm. will or not. Mm -hmm. So the will is going to choose or refuse what you do. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The will. So now we get to the will, right? Yes. Right. That was With amazing, will, right? preacher. Huh? That's amazing, because I was just about to ask about that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, this boy, this boy think too much. <laughs> be gone. We be thinking like, we, 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 we talk this stuff. We mm -hmm. talk this stuff. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I get in a conversation with Charles and I miss y'all. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm not going to be quiet. He understands. Mm -hmm. Oh, them out there probably don't understand what he knows. Uh, the will is going to choose or refuse the rule and the order, right? Yes. Oh, the man. will going to choose or refuse the will, the rule and order. Yes. Amazing. The will choose. Mm -hmm. What did the people say? I will not have that man to rule right. over me. Yeah. Did they say it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got in their understanding, their reason, their conscience, and their conscience was told them. The particular action is for the, the will to, uh, for the rule reign over you. What they say, I will not help this man to reign over me. They refuse, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And they refuse to help you. Okay, did they understand? Show you right. Yes, they did. <laughs> Show you right, they understood. Oh. All right, hold on. The will is another faculty whereby we do will or not anything. That is refuse. Choose or refuse. With the will is joined. Many affections, right? Yes. So with the will, I got affections, right? Yes. I don't like doing that, right? Right. There you go. Affections, right? Yes. Because I don't like that. Yeah. That's why I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't go. Right? Yes. Right. Okay. It says with the will is joined many affections. What about joy? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Sorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think he should say that to him. Mm -hmm. How about love? Oh, yeah. Hatred? Yes. Okay, those are affections. And our affections be everywhere. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be, it told you set your affections on things above this. Yes. Uh, not on things on earth, right? right? So it, tell you, it said don't put your affections on your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your job, your car, your house, shoes, clothes. It said set your affections on things above, right? Mm -hmm. if you set your, wait, 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 wait. If you set your affections on things above, you'll always choose the will of God and you never would refuse to hear and do. And that's the will of God. Yes. Yes. Then they say the will of God is to hear and do. Then they say that's what the will of God was. Yes. And, and Luke 8 21, it say hear and do. That's what it said then. Yes. They say when your affections not on things above, your affections on earth, you will not choose to hear and do. He said, set your affections on things above. Mm -hmm. Your affections on things above, that's what your will will be. You'll choose God every time. Mm -hmm. oh. You reject your refuse self every time, right? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Mm -hmm. It says, conscience is not placed in the affections and will. You don't see it down there. Mm -hmm. Where's the conscience at? Mm -hmm. Where's the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have no conscience down here. I oh, know. Mm -hmm. Ain't no conscience with the with the understanding, with the will and affection. No mm -hmm. conscience. Your conscience is with your understanding. Okay. Yes. Okay. I told y'all these was eyes, didn't I? Yes. Uh -huh. That's yeah. how you see. That's how you see. Stay, stay with me. The conscience is not placed in the affections or will, but in the understanding. Because the actions of the conscious stand in the use of reason. 
understanding has two parts. The first is that which stands in the view and contemplation. What is contemplation? Contemplation is consideration. Mm -hmm. So that goes with reason, right? Yes. Because yes. I got to consider, right? Yes. yes. I got to think about what you said, Dennis. And I may not will Ooh. to do that. Right. So now I got to consider, right? Right. Mm -hmm. so that's what the reason is. So I got, I heard what you say, but I got to do what? Think. Think, think about it. Oh. I heard it. Mm-hmm. I got to think about it. What? I got to think about it. I heard what you said. What well, I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to decide if I'm going to do it or not do it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have an affection for it. Right. So I'm going to refuse it. Yes. I, yeah. I don't want to. I, I, think, I, I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God ain't never told you to think. No, he didn't. Mm. Yeah, stay with me. What I said, I'm going to show you my, my heart. I'm going to show you your right. heart. This is the heart right here. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. This is the heart. Yes. Yeah. That's the understanding. It's the word cardio, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. In the Old Testament, it's the day, right? Yes. It's the Bible, right? Yeah. Yes. To the Jew and the Greek, the understanding was the heart, right? Yes. Y'all mm -hmm. with me? Oh, yeah. Contemplation. What is contemplation? Mm -hmm. Consideration. Contemplation is look at. Think about, reflect. I got to reflect, right? Mm -hmm. I got to reflect, right? Yes. When I reflect, what I'm going to use. When I when I think about what I'm going to use. When I think about reason, reason. I'm use reason. reason. When I reflect upon something, I said I got to reflect. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to use? A reason. reason. I got to. I got to look at. It. Right? Yes. You got to look at that, right? Right. I'm going to look at it at My reason. Your reason. reason. I'm looking at it. You see, if I wanted to rule, then I'm going to follow that order. Right. What? Right. You got to understand you got to rule in order, right? Yes. And that's what the reason is, right? Yes. So I got to think about that to see if I wanted to rule in order, me, right? Right. Yeah. I said, okay, I wanted, to, I wanted to rule me. I wanted to order me. The will comes in, right? Mm -hmm. We'll say, wait a minute. I don't like that. Mm. Thank you. So it says what? I refuse you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll say, I don't like that. Understand, they say, okay. I looked at it, I reflected about it, I thought about it, I considered it, I understand it. It's supposed to rule me, it's supposed to order me. The will say, wait a minute. I don't like that. We're not doing that. The first is that stands in the group. Understanding got two parts. We got contemplation. We got understanding. We got, we got contemplation. Right? Yeah. And that's reason in it. Yes, it is. The contemplation. That's speculating. That's looking at. I'm going to come back to this. It means to ponder because I'm going to show you your heart. Mm -hmm. What it's truly doing, what it's truly, the will does is buy and sell. Hmm. Mm. Insane. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it uh -oh. buys and sells. Hey. Uh oh. <laughs> that I don't want. I don't want that. I'll take that. Yeah. Hey, preacher. Yeah. Oh, the true mark of the beast. I'll show you things you've never seen before. I will show you things you never seen before. Preacher, that's the true mark of the beast. Shut up. That's where I'm going. Hey, don't put it out there. Don't put it out there. Go to my. Roll. Leave him alone. That's my son. Let's go to Revelation. Amen. That's my son. Yes. yes. I told you we think of it. No. J M J D. Not bad. How you like that? I know. Wrong to get it. I did get it. I said, uh uh. You ain't say by yourself. I was waiting on you. I ain't want to see you. See you. See you. Look at Revelation. <laughs> All of y'all on one accord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Just do that. Amen. That's what we do. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> See, y'all got it, man. Y'all got it, God. Thank you, you answered my prayer. Yes! By the truth, man. So oh, God. God. By the truth that said it not. The <laughs> by himself, man, he told you the reason. He said, he told you what to do then. Yes, he did. He told, look at Carol. She got He told you what to do then. Yes. He said, by the truth. And sell it not. Sell it not. My brethren do the will of my father. You best they believe do. it. By the truth, they do. They the will. They hear, they do. That's all. That's it. That's it. By the truth. Sell it not. By the truth. Look at boy, y'all got it, man. Boy, that wasn't even hard. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Preacher, the, what? The, going back to your other teachings, right? When you ponder something, you say, should I buy that? Right, yeah. yes. Should I not buy that, right? Right. Amen. You ponder. Mm -hmm. You say, should I buy that? Let me examine. Let me see. Yeah. Can I, what can I do with that? Can I use that? Yeah, right. yeah. You raised that. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. you raised that. Then you, can I use that? What can I do? What, what can I put that? That that look good in my living room. Mm -hmm. Now, then I have to move that right there. And if I, I don't want to move that right there, I like that. Right? Right. I, I want to move that. I like that. I want that to stay right there. Mm -hmm. But man, I really want this going. Yes. I ain't got nowhere to put it, though. Nope. But I deserve it so bad, though. Yeah. What I do? I buy it. Show do. And it sit over there in the box. And I never use it. Never use it. But at that time, I desired it. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. I buy it, man. All, all our life is what? All our life we ain't doing number one. I didn't sell it. So we gotta be taught what to buy them. Oh yes, we do. We gotta be taught what to buy them. Yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> so we buy that truth, right? Yes. Once we buy it. Woo! Yeah. 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 Once we buy it, we never want it. Sell it. Sell it. What do we do? We do it. Preach! Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. You didn't know what to do. You was buying and selling yesterday. I said, bad, buy the truth. Mm -hmm. Sell it not. Amen. And that's what you did. Amen. Oh, God have mercy. Man, that wasn't even hard. Amen. The only thing I did do was get y'all the scripture. Let me get y'all the scripture. Why? Wow, I love that right there, man. Yeah. That's Revelation 317, eh? What? Buy the truth. No, that's Proverbs. And then, yeah, Proverbs. Oh, yeah, but. Well, now I got one of Revelation 317. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's proper. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Hold on. I tell y'all, what the hell? You don't be in Revelation 13, church. Stop doing that. I told you to stay in Revelation 13. That's what God gave it to me at the first of the show. But Charles and the and I was going to show you the heart. Charles, read it out. That's all right. That's my son. Proverbs 23, 23. Proverbs 23, 23. Go there. Go there. Hey, y'all there, huh? Proverbs 23. Man, y'all made that so easy. Oh, real God showed y'all that. Praise God. Say, but Proverbs 23, 23. Proverbs 23, 23. What does it say? By the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Mm -hmm. That's it? What? By what? By the truth and sell it not. That's Proverbs 23, what? 23 and 23. Amen. What does it say? Do what? By the truth. Slow down. Go mm -hmm. ahead. And sell it not. What else do you buy? Also wisdom. Come on. Instruction. Uh-huh. And understanding. I wish they could understand it right there. All right. That's what you buy. You buy that, you don't sell it. Mm -hmm. You follow the instructions, right? Yes. Yeah. All that told you to do was what? All that told you to do was what? Hear and do. Hear and do. That's it. That's what it says. Hear and do. You can put Luke 8.21 there. You can put Luke 8.21 there. That's what it told you to do. Hear and do. Don't sell it, right? Amen. Buy it and what? Don't no sell it. Because if you sell it, what you got? If you sell it, what you got to do? Oh, come on now. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Don't lose it. Y'all doing fact. If you sell it, what you got to do? No, you don't. If you sell, if you sell the truth, what you got to do? If you sell something, what you got to do? 
No, if you sell something, but if you go to sell something, what do you got to do? You in the Middle East, come on, you sell something. Shut up, Charles. Shut up, Charles, you shut up. <laughs> if, you middle, if, you got, if you selling something, what do you got to do? Advertise. Oh, wow. 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 You wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right. Mm -hmm. It is priceless. Oh, man. It's a price song. What? Yes, you all y'all gone night. All kind of words coming to your mind. <laughs> what you say? You saw an idea of it too. Yes, you selling an idea. Private interpretation. Oh boy! Hey, it all pink. <laughs> That's the key word. Because the word market is the word agorazo. It means to purchase in a marketplace. <laughs> That's the word buy right there. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it. What? And Jesus said in John 2 16, and he said unto that soul does, take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Thank you very much. They buy the selling. Yes, you did. You buy the truth, you don't sell it. You say, buy truth. Amen. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. Y'all got it, man. You said what now? Y'all 821. Y'all got it. Man, y'all got it so fast, man. I didn't think it. Y'all got it. <laughs> Human reason is bad as something. That's what it is. Watch and see. Go to Revelation 13. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it. Praise God. Because you did get it. Go to Revelation 13. That's what we got to stop doing, God. So we start pondering and speculating. Let me look at it, right? Yes. You go to buy something, you say, let me look at it, right? Yes. So I'll say, well, right, I'm going to give it to you for $50. Well, mm -hmm. let me think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I got to yeah. go home and think about it, right? Yeah. got to go home and reflect, right? Right. Got affection for it, right? Yep. I got affection for it. If I got affection for it, I'm, I'm going to buy that. Yes, you is. You best believe it. I don't care how much it costs. You go buy it. Okay, how much it costs? If, if that's what I want, that's what me, me and Charles talk about. That's what we want, that's what we're going to buy. Doggone right. Right? Doggone right. I don't have to go start <laughs> Seriously. And, and get it and knock five dollars off. Not to, uh uh. That's what I want. Exactly. Uh -huh. And you go buy. That's what I'm going to buy. <laughs> how much is it? So and so, so and so. But then that's how much it costs. I'm not going to stand it with that man and finagle with that man, go back and forth with that man. That's how much he. That, that man got a business. Yes, sure do. Hey, man. That man doing business. Yeah. I ain't going to be uh, practicing that power for what, y'all? Niggatry. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we think the light. That's power for what? Niggatry. Niggatry. <laughs> Yes. That's power for what? Niggatry. <laughs> we got time for that man. Give it to me. They call it you. What? They call it Jew. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they, call it, they, they, they call it what? Jewing. Why do they call it Jewing? Preaching a petty. Why do they call it Jewing? You live in Chicago all your life. Jew town. Ah! Oh. <laughs> what do they call it? Jew. Jew town. Oh. Alright. Hey, come here. I know she know. We go down there to town of Jews. He got them. He go down there, he'll tell you it's fifty dollars. No, ain't fifty dollars. You know, it ain't fifty dollars. No. Nope. That's what he said is limited. That's right. He really won't twenty. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if he get that extra thirty, that's even better. What? If he get that thirty, that's even better. Extra five. That extra ten. Yeah. He set the limit at fifty. Yes, uh -huh. He won't twenty. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. He just don't want to break even. When you get you 
Yeah, he like the sock man said, so we got these bundles of socks. Yeah. Four bundles of socks for a dollar. Mm -hmm. You jumping on that engine. Uh -huh. Then when you get home, Eric, we will get home, Eric. One sock will be this long. Uh -huh. I'm not lying. Am I lying? Nope. It would be a defect in them every time. Yeah. Falling apart. What? Falling apart. <laughs> I'm not lying, Eric. We get home and tell him, hey, my daddy said, that's all right, boy. What, what, what you complaining about? Rolling my mind said, Jimmy, them socks ain't eat. Ain't eat no more. I can't eat what? Well, what the hell, Roll, what we complaining about? We ain't paying them for, for them a, a dollar. That's uh, exactly what they say. <laughs> ain't, nobody, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody gonna see. Mm -hmm. well, what, he take the shoes off for him, pants off for him? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I went. I'm telling you how I went. That was my answer. Y'all made that so simple, man. I can't believe y'all did that. The word agorazo is the word is the word to go to market to purchase or to redeem. Being in the marketplace to attend it of idle people. People that don't want to do the word of God, what do they do? Mm -hmm. Look at it, reflect, think about it, consider. That's what they do. You said of idle people? People that are idle. So they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. They wait. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. want to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. So they say, I got to look at that for a minute. Mm -hmm. I got to go look at that scripture. I got to think about that. I said, let's do this. This is something we need to do. I said, so come on, let's do this. The person said, why I got to do that? Because it's true. You got the truth. You don't say it. You don't reason it out. You don't ponder it. So why I got to do that? Because the Bible says give, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It says, well, well, blessed be give, right? Yes. Yes. It didn't tell you to use your human reason and say that's money only, did it? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't tell you to use your, your human reason and say, but the Bible says give, I paid my tithe. Can it tell you to use your human reason and you decide what else to be given or not? No. Because the the best thing that you the best thing that you can give, and do you want to give God your best? Yes. Or yeah. yeah. well, the yeah. best thing you can give is your what? Time. Obedience. The best thing that you can give is your what? I wish that I had a word. Greater love have no man than this. His life. Amen. For his what? For his friend. And you are my friends if you do. Whosoever I command. What you say? Whatsoever I command. I don't care what I say. I don't, he said, whatsoever I command you, do it. Well, how is he going to command you? How? Through the preach, word, through the preach. Oh. Oh, so he's going to command you through the preacher, right? Amen. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, so he's going to command you mm -hmm. through the preacher, right? Yes, he is. Amen. Right? Yes. Oh, yes. so the preacher tell you what you need to what? Do. You're supposed to hear it and, and do. And do. Yes, I'm not supposed to buy myself. That <laughs> You're not supposed to buy myself. It's no disease preacher. What a preacher? I don't want to do that. Why? What did he say give? Well, I gave my time. The greatest thing you can give is your life. Greater love hath no man than this love of an account. Mm -hmm. That he does what? Lay down, Lay down. his life mm -hmm. for his friend. Amen. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Present your body mm -hmm. living sacrifice. I just told you to lay down your life. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Holy mm -hmm. and acceptable mm -hmm. unto God, mm -hmm. which is your reasonable, <laughs> since you're reflecting. Which is your reasonable service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Greater love ain't no man than this. Mm -hmm. That a man lay down, down. his life. For who? His friend. His friend. His friend. Right? His friend. He laid out his life for his friend. Uh -huh. The best friend you got is your what? My friend. You best believe it. That's real. That's the best friend you got. Yes, sir. Is your pastor. Amen. 
That's Jeremiah 23. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That's Jeremiah 23. Mm -hmm. That's numbers where we started it with Aaron, right? Mm -hmm. The shepherd. That's the word shepherd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. I'll be fine if I do this. But the main scripture is, I beseech you, brother, mm -hmm. or I beseech you what? Mother, mother sister, sister, brother. brother. I beseech you, brother, mother, mother brother, sister. sister. That's the brother. That's the brother. I beseech you, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present. Is that something you do? Yes, yeah. something you do. That you be present, yeah. you present, you bring forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You present your body, right? Yes. Right? Not your body. Your body. Your body. You didn't say your body. No, no, no. no. Say your body. Your body. Jesus gave his what? Body. body. He gave his body. He gave his body. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Don't nobody want to give J.D. Body. body. Nope. Nope. Before you get a body, you first got to have a will in mind. Mm -hmm. Right? Because mm -hmm. he's talking to the soul. Yes. <laughs> If you ain't got a will of mine, you ain't going to do a damn thing. You ain't going to do nothing. Like the ones of Jeremiah, unless you got a horse forehead. Watch out, y'all. Because he just went there. Uh-oh. And that's the negative part of it. I told y'all that. And that, I'm going to teach y'all the horse, the horse forehead. Mm -hmm. He is 100% right. Unless you got a horse forehead. Amen. Look at Revelation. Boy, y'all, y'all made this so easy for me. Mm -hmm. Look at Revelation 13. Amen. Amen. Oh, God, have mercy. Y'all, y'all made this so easy. I'm at verse number 11. Boy, I love y'all. Amen. Verse number 11. I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb. Wasn't a lamb. Huh? Nope. Counterfeit. Right. Counterfeit. Right. And he spake as a what? Dragon. A dragon. Christ don't speak as a dragon. <laughs> the words he spoke was what? Spirit and life. Right. The words he spoke he got from his father. Right? Yeah. So you got to understand, I'm going to teach on space. So you got to remember all this. Thing. So all of this is in this verse. But you got to remember how, how Christ spake. Mm. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Because you want to be right. How did Christ speak, Rose? How did Christ speak, Rose? I said, how did he speak? He spoke only a word. All right. How did Christ speak, J.D.? Never a man like a man. Never spake like a man on earth. Amen. It is speaking like a dragon. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go over there so y'all can put that there. Come on, I help you. We go. So you put it in your Bible, then you go home and study. Go to Peter 7. Well, God is gone now. Man, my God is good. Boy, he gave y'all that. God gave y'all that. Told y'all don't do nothing but study that. Yep. John 7, 46. All that do is study that. Don't it. All I do is study, though. Yes. And I preach, right? Yes, sir. And he showed it. Now y'all be gone. Look at, look at Jeremiah. That's private interpretation. J.D. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that. Y'all was gone. None of them teach it like God, church. I can't teach like that. I can't teach like that. So we go to St. John chapter 7, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, God help us. Oh, Lord, this is good. John chapter 7, right? Mm -hmm. He don't speak like a dragon, right? Mm -hmm. He speaks the words of God, right? Mm -hmm. 7, verse number 45 and 46. Come on, J.D. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. I wish I had him. Right. So you put that over there. At 13, 11 up. Reverend, Reverend. Yeah. Yeah. And that's good. Yes, it is. All right, then we go back to Revelation 13, verse 9. Mm -hmm. It said, Now they have another beast coming up out of the what? Earth. 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 
Christ will come from the earth. Where he come from? Above. See, I told you now I'm gone. I see all these things. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He come from above. Didn't you say that? Mm -hmm. He said that. And I say, book John, right? Yes. So let's go put that up there. Let's go back to St. John so y'all can have these scriptures. Mm -hmm. Scriptures is able to make you wise into what? Salvation. Hey, all y'all know that. <laughs> so we go to John chapter 8, right? 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 Mm. Yeah. And go to verse number. Yes. That's what I want. It says, and he said unto them, you are from what? Beneath. Me. I am what? From above. You are of this world. I am not of this, this world. world. All right, so you put that, because that beast came up out of the earth. Mm -hmm. So we go to John 3, 2, I think, right? I think yes. so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go to John 3, verse 31. The beast came out of what? Earth. Where did the beast come from? Out of the earth. Where did the beast come from? Out of the earth. All right, let's go to John 3, 31. Where did the beast come from? Out of the earth. He that cometh from above is what? Above all. He that is of the earth is what? Earth. And speaketh of the what? Earth. He that cometh from heaven is what? Above all. Thank you very much. So he above the beast. Hey. Oh, yeah. He is. Go back over there, 311. You put John 331 over there. Talk to me, church. Amen. Amen. Go back over there because you put John 331, right? Yes. Amen. So we put John 331. And then we put yeah. 7. Was that 7? Yes, 746. 746. And yeah, 746 and 823, right? Yeah. Yes. We good at it. Yes. So we know, see, he like a lamb, ain't he? Mm -hmm. huh? He like a lamb. He not like the lamb. Because the lamb speak from above, right? Yes. Nobody yes. speak like him. He want to be Christ, no. Yes. Right? Yes. He a uh, humble dragon, drag it in. Oh, yeah. Uh, he a servant of Satan, ain't he? Yes. So now you just understand something about Revelation. You take that thought right there, you carry it all the way through. When you read it, you'll you understand 13 chapter of the book of Revelation. Okay. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. a man. <laughs> oh! Amen. What do men do? By himself. Oh! There we go. Let's read. Wait, verse 12. I mean, Revelation 13, okay. 12. And he exercised all the power of the first beast mm -hmm. before him and caused the earth and then which dwelled therein to worship the first beast, whose dead even one was hell. Right? Yeah. All right. So we said, let's deal with earth for a minute, okay? okay. Uh -huh. Let's go to first job. Man, I got to show y'all your heart. Yes, sir. Oh, the Lord done took us another way now. Yes, sir. But y'all understand the Bible says. Oh, well, I got to see that. I got to show your heart. Bro. Yes, yes. So, Carolyn, we go to first job, mm -hmm. and we go to verse number. We go to verse number, we go to verse number one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We get to verse number one, Carol. It says, Beloved, who is the beloved? I mean, first John 4 1. Oh, I'm sorry, first John 4 1. I do that all the time. I'm sorry. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Oh. Amen. Beloved, who is the beloved, Rose? You look right in my brother. Who is the brother? Mother, sister, and brother. They do and you do. That's my daughter. That's my daughter there. Hurry up, Jamie! <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, right? Yes. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. That's the breaths, right? Yes. Right? Whether they are of God, right? Right. Because many false prophets are going out into the world, right? Right. Jesus said, He that is of God speaking the word of God, right? Right. All right, here we go right here. We go to this. It says, Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh is not 
of God. This is that spirit of Antichrist. Well, you have heard that it should come. Even now, already is in the what? World. Thank you. Right? Right. right. That's the beast, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's the beast. That's the beast. Mm -hmm. The beast already ain't. Yes, it is. It says, all right, it tells us, it says, you are of God, beloved. Where are you from? Above. Above. Thank you very much. You are from God. Why are you from? Above. Above. Little children and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory, than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. We are from God. He that knoweth God heareth us. When it say, when it say we are of God, that's talking about the preachers. You stay in the context, context it's talking about false teachers. It's talking about preachers. It's not talking about you. You are the little children. You are the little children. Okay? Yes. And it's telling you, it says, you the little children. Look at verse 4. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are of God, little children. So I will be your what? Father. Thank you very much. I'm going to teach on that. Mm -hmm. And a father and a son does what? Honors. Thank you very much. A son and a daughter honors the father. Mm -hmm. They do what the father does. Tells them to do. Oh, okay, okay. You, you little children. <laughs> That's a mark or a sign of what, Jeremiah? Innocency and what else? One more. Come on, Eric. Humility. Humility. Yeah. So you put there little children, innocency, humility. Is that what you don't understand about humility? About little children. Children have humility. And they innocent, right? Yes. Alright. They do know that. They yes. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Yeah. Okay, it says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, have overcome them. Them are the false prophets in verse 1, right? Yes. Many false prophets are going out into the world, right? Yes. That, but they represent the beast, don't they? Yes. Amen. They represent the beast, right? Amen. They represent the system, don't they? Amen. The system is the world. You, you see that? Yes. You see the world, right? Amen. That's the system. They represent, that's the politicians, that's the education. Hey, hey, that's the philosophers, that's mm -hmm. the see. That's the man the room and so the world. That's what it is. All right, you are for God, little children, and overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Say they. More than one doesn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. They are of the world. For that reason, speak they of the world, and the world hear it them. We are from God. Right? So the world followed the false teachers. Y'all followed the true preacher. Right? Right? right. right. They say, preachers are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. So if you don't hear God, you know, that's why you don't baby, because you don't know God, right? Right. Yeah, you say hear, you hear and you do. If you're God, you're going to hear it, you're going to do it, right? Yes. See? Man, you heard me, didn't you? <laughs> yes, sir. I heard you about your sister, yes, right? I heard you. You did it, didn't you? Yes, sir. You hear and do. Yes. You hear and do. He that is not a God, heareth not the preacher, right? Right. And so he will do none of the preacher say this. No. Is that what it says, church? Or did I make that up? That's what it says. All right, you want to know? I told you I'm going to show you your heart, right? Right. Hereby, we, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What did J.D. say about the truth? Proverbs 23, 23. By the truth. By the truth. Not. Not. So how, how do we know truth? I hear what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I hear what the preacher say. I know what the preacher say. I know that's true. I don't do it. I know I'm in what? Error. Error. Right there. That's how you know you are. That's one of the two. <laughs> you got the party, don't you? You got the same one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. It say by the truth. Uh -huh. I'm going to say it again. It say, hereby know we the spirit of truth or the breath of truth, right? Right. right. So what do you know in truth? Right. 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 You know what I'm No. I mean, you hear it, you do. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And yeah. you can put, you can put Proverbs 23, 23 right there. It's true, ain't it? Related with truth. Yeah, okay. So right there you can put Proverbs 23, 
23. Okay. Right? Amen. I underlined church and I put Proverbs, right? Yeah. 23 and 23. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we can take that scripture right there. We can go back over to Revelation. We can take 1 John 4, 5. We go back over to Revelation 13. Uh -huh. And we can put it right up under 820, uh, down there, back verse 11, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. We put first. So how many scriptures we don't found just from that one verse? Mm -hmm. Just from verse number 11. Mm -hmm. You can put first John 4 5, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because he's because he speaks like a dragon, right? Mm -hmm. He don't speak truth. First John 4 and 5. You should have you should have four verses there. You should have John 3 31, 7 46, 8 26, 1 John 4 5. Very easy to remember because all of those scriptures were said by who? John. John. This one, it? 8 Yeah, 8 23. Yeah. You, got, you got 3 31, 7 46, 8 23, and 1 John 4 5. Amen. Okay? Amen. We're looking at buying and selling, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, Glenn, how's nice that? Did y'all notice that? Yeah. That mean he wasn't what? Sleep. <laughs> Verse 12. And he exercised with all the power of the first beast, right? Mm -hmm. Before him, right? Yeah. He caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, mm -hmm. whose deadly wound was healed, right? Right. He was, he was wounded, and then that wound, God wound, God healed, right? Mm -hmm. God wounded him, then God healed him, didn't he? Oh, yeah. But all healing is not for righteousness, is it? Nope. He healed you so you can finish doing the evil work he wants you to do. The wounding the first time is a warning, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Come back! Yeah. With ain't nothing worse than a wounded animal. <laughs> but then he healed that wound. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. And when he healed him, look what it said. He doeth great wonders so that he may fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of man to deceive them. There you go. Right? Yeah. To deceive them, right? Yeah. Because their hearts is deceitful. They believe them, don't they? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. And deceiving them that dwell mm -hmm. on the earth. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. By the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Right? Yeah. All right? Saying to them that dwell on earth that are what? Thank you very much. It already said it at the beginning of the verse. They deceived. Yes. So that's got to carry all the way through the verse, right? Yes. Right. Every time we read from now on, we know they deceived, don't we? Yes. Their hearts have deceived them, right? Yes. And they just got an intellectual idea of God, don't they? Yes. They just got an intellectual assent to God, don't they? Yes. But they honor in the beast, ain't they? Yes. They honor in the system, ain't they? Yes. You best believe it, but they say they believe God, don't they? Yes. But they're not seeking him what, Bumblebee? Huh? They're not seeking him what, Bumblebee? You best believe they're not seeking him diligently. And the reason they're not seeking him diligently, because they're not sitting what? Yeah. Preach! They're not sitting among us, around him. Yes, Look where they at. Yeah. Yeah. They whipped out. Preach! Stand without. Stand without. Look where they at. Yeah. His mother fought, his brother and his brother and his sister yeah. said to come in. Yes, they yeah. sit around him. They had to come in. They were standing out. Mm -hmm. yes, they, they was in the world, wasn't they? Mm. Yeah. They was in the earth, wasn't they? Yes, they were. I, got, it, I don't care. It's abstract. I don't care what you nobody says. I know it means that. They didn't dwell on earth. Amen. They on earth. Yes, they were. They came around him. They was in the presence of God. I wish they had a They're not sitting with him in heaven and heavenly place. Free! <laughs> Wow. Verse 14, uh -huh. and deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, right? Mm -hmm. It said he deceived them that dwelling on the earth. That's what it said in the beginning of the verse 14. It says, saying to them that dwelleth on the earth that are what? Deceived mm -hmm. that they should make a image to the beast which had the wound by a sword 
and did live because what happened? God healed him. Yeah. Yeah. So he can do what? Deceive. Preach! I love you. He healed them so he can deceive them. Amen. I wish I had a with you. We talking about the sovereignty of God. Yeah, yeah. He said in the book of Deuteronomy, I kill, I make alive, I wound, mm -hmm. I heal. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, do all these oh, things. Amen. So he wounded him, yeah. right, to show them that he wasn't nothing, right? Mm -hmm. and they still believed and felt sorry for the yeah. bastard, didn't they? Yeah. So he healed them so he can deceive them. What? They tell that story all the way different. They yeah, sure he do. Had the, the, the dragon had the power to heal himself. You know he did? God healed him. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39. He can't heal himself. No, he can't. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Are you there? Yes. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Amen. Amen. What does it say? See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Free. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Psalm 68, 21. We're looking at our wound. Mm -hmm. Look at Psalms 68, 21. Say amen. 6821. Psalm 68. Amen. Read. The God shall move the head of his enemy. Come on. And the hairy scalp of such and one as goeth on still in his trespass. I wish I had a witness. <laughs> Read it again. But God shall move the head of his enemy. Uh-huh. And the hairy scalp of such and one as goeth on still in his trespass. I'm, I'm gonna just keep. Yes. Afraid of you and hitting you and hitting you and hitting you till you die. Mm. Go to Job 34 and 6. Go to Job 34 and 6. Job 34, verse number 6. Job 34, verse number 6. Amen. Read there. Should I lie against my right? My wound is incurable without transgression. Thank you very much. Who got to help? Uh, you better. He said, My wound is incurable. Man can't do nothing for me. Psalms 110 and verse number 6. Psalms 110 and verse number 6. Amen. Read. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall do what? He shall judge among the heathen. Is, is the beast a heathen? Yes. yes. Is them that dwell on earth heathen? Yes. yes. Read. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. Mm. He shall rule the heads over many countries. Mm. Wait a minute, is that happening right now? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's happening in that yes. Ukraine right oh, now? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah 10, 19. Y'all in Psalms? Yeah. Six, Psalm 64 and 7. Psalm 64 and 7. Amen. Read. For God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Them the judgments of God. The arrows of God is the judgments of God. Abstract thing. Mm -hmm. 6826. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. Bless ye God in the congregations, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. Yeah, 6826? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know why I got that. Say it again. Bless ye the Lord in the congregations, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. Well, I don't know why I got that, but I got the wrong one. Bless ye God in the congregations. Look at 109 22. 21. 6821? Yeah. That's the one I, I already did that. Let's go to 109 22. What is it? Huh? Somebody say something? You said 109 22? Yeah, 109 22. For I am poor and need, and my heart is wounded within me. Mm -hmm. Who wounded? God, I can't believe it. Look at Jeremiah 10, 19. What'd you say? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he said he will. Yeah. Look at Jeremiah 10, 19. Amen. Read, Carolyn. Woe is me for my hurt. My wound is revealed. But I said, truly, this is a grief. 
and I must bear it. You passed the shoe. You read it again. Woe is me for uh -huh. my hurt. Yep. My wound is grievous. Yep. But I said, truly, this is a grief. Come on. And I must bear it. Yes, you must. Yep. Day, day. God did it, didn't you? Yes, he did. He did it to Jeremiah. Yes, he did. He got it there. God did it. 15 why is my pain perpetual? Why? And my wound incurable. He gonna get my ass? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell us why. Is he gonna ask? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> what is that, Jenny? Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Well, look at that. That's he didn't heal it. I wound, I heal. Would thou be all together unto me as a lion? Oh God. And as one that fail? Oh Lord have mercy. Read it again, Judy. Why is What you say, man? He heard you. Like that. Yes, sir. He heard you. Read Jenny. Why is my pain perpetual mm. and my wound incurable? Mm. Which refuses to be healed. Mm. Would thou be altogether unto me as a lion? And as water that fell, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30 and 12. Amen. Read, Mama Rama. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And thy wound is grievous. Whoa! I must bear it. 14. 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, ah. they seek the, thee not, for I have wounded thee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he totally, he, he, he big trouble. Read it. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Whoa! With the chastisement of a cruel one. Lord, have mercy! For the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Read again! Wow. That's why he do it to us! Yeah. Yeah. See, I wound you, but you didn't. The other one we read, he said he kept wounding him and wounding him and wounding him. It got worse. It got worse and worse and worse. He kept sinning. Mm -hmm. So he made it worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh -huh. huh? Read again, my brother. All thy silver. All thy lovers have forgotten me. Mm, mm, mm. Them the gods they will serve. Mm -hmm. yes. All the people you serve and all the people you love. Uh -huh. All the people you were seeking to please and make happy. Oh, boy. Go ahead. They seek thee not. Mm, mm, mm. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Mm, mm, mm. With the chastisement of a cruel one. Mm, mm, mm. For the multitude of thy iniquity. Mm. Because thy sins were increased. Thank you, Greg. That's America, eh? Yeah. Yeah. One thing you don't discuss in America, and that's human nature, though. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all seeing it right there. They go to the scripture right there. Yeah, I hear. He wound America, and they just continue to go on, though. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. They had no respect for no adults and nothing. No. Nothing. no. He told them to rise up before a horrible head. Oh, yeah. He told them to respect the face of an old man, right? Yes. An old woman, right? Oh, yeah. yes. We're not going to do that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to carjack him with a baby in the back seat. Yep. We ain't going to respect the old man. We're going to carjack him. We're going to rob him, right? Yep. That's yep. what they did to that old man down in. In uh, High Park, remember the old man they uh, robbed? The girl yes, 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 God yes, killed every one of them. Yeah. Don't show them no mercy. Yes, God said, it. Look, 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 hey, look, y'all, let me show you why these young men is being this. Go to, go to Leviticus 19.32, so y'all can know this. What? This morning on the way in, on the radio, they were saying that some guys uh, had a beast, one of their dogs. They let the dog go on the man, and after they let the dog go on the man, the dog attacked the man and beat him all up and everything. He's in serious condition. Took the man wallet. That's how we're going now. All right, then let's go. Let's let, let the dog go on the Yeah. Look at nineteen thirty-two. Y'all want to write killing these young guys? Look at nineteen thirty-two. The video is nineteen thirty-two. Amen. Amen. Let me show y'all this. What your pastor be doing at home? What your pastor be doing? Look at 1932. Amen. Look at 1932. Leviticus 19, you got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 32. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It says, Thou shalt rise up 
before the war we had, right? Right. right? And honor the face of the what? Oh, oh man. Man. And fear what? Not not not. Not. What do you say? I, I am the Lord. So what do they do to the old man? They rob. Uh -huh. What do they do to the old woman? They rob. Uh -huh. Push them down. Take their money. Break them. God, and so y'all y'all don't understand what God is doing to them. So I'll give y'all these scriptures so you can know. When God catch them little bastards out there, look, no mercy. None. Justice. Yes, yes right. To the merciful, he will show himself merciful. Mercy. To the forward, he show himself forward. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to understand that. Y'all need to tell those who y'all be talking to up here around. Don't be no coward. Don't be scared to tell them. You say no. They broke God's law. That's Leviticus 19.32. You shall rise up before the hoary head. Boy, when we get on the bus, them niggas ain't getting up. No. No, they not. They ain't getting up. They're not going to rise up. And they don't respect the face of an old man. That's why I be on your side of the line. Those that's older than you, you're supposed to respect them. I don't care who they is. You're supposed to respect the face of an old man. A person that's older than you, you're supposed to have respect. I don't care if they is older than you. I don't care what color they is, who they are. You're supposed to respect those people. The Bible told you that. That's what they need to do. We have no respect for authority. We have no respect for people at all. Now he talked to the people of God. He talked to the people of God. Remember your Leviticus. You talked to the people of God. They ain't talking to the heat. They ain't talking to the heathen, Jacob. No. Maybe 16, 31. So what what happened? They don't respect that old man, they rob that old man. They take his car with the baby in the back seat. Take off with the car. They, they crash the car. They kill the baby. They stay alive. But you go to Proverbs 16, 31. Let me show you how this works. Let me show you the sovereignty of God, how it works. I explained this to an individual yesterday. You look at 16, 31. They say the hoary head is a crown of glory. If it be found in the way of righteousness, right? Yes. All right. So they 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 uh they carjack the old man, right? Right. With the baby in the back seat, or the woman with the baby in the back seat, right? Right. Crash the car, right? Right. Baby died, right? Mm -hmm. They go to prison, right? Yes. And that old woman and old man got to live with that for the rest of their lives, right? Mm -hmm. Why? It was not found in the way of righteousness. Mm -hmm. So God judged the person that hijacked, judged the hoary head that was not in the way of righteousness. Mm -hmm. The baby goes to heaven, mm -hmm. and he wounded the conscience of that hoary head that wasn't found in the way of righteousness because they hate him. Only got an idea of God, and they got to live with that for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. How would you like to live like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time you go to sleep at night, yeah, yeah. you see that baby. Mm -hmm. How you like to live like that? That's because your hoary head wasn't found in the way of righteousness. So he get two at the price of one though. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The baby go to heaven. Mm -hmm. The one who hijacked, he goes to jail, yeah. prison for the rest of his life for mm -hmm. murder. Mm -hmm. And the hoary head that wasn't in the way of righteousness is tormented for the rest of their lives. Because well, they yeah. probably treated the baby mm -hmm. wrong. Well, there's some other evil. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yes, but if you look in Leviticus, you're still yes, supposed to have respect for the face of an old man. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Here it don't say nothing about the old man. Mm -hmm. Hoary head means gray head. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You don't have to hold the old man in 1631. Mm -hmm. See, it's a universal law because it's in Leviticus 1932. Mm -hmm. You got the hoary head. Right. That got to be in righteousness. But you're still supposed to have respect for old folks. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. They don't even have respect for the elderly. No. Nope. They told you you rise up before, the, before an old man. Mm -hmm. Our children have no respect for the old man. No, no, no. no. And then the hoary head is not in the way of righteousness. They just got an idea of God. Do y'all understand what I'm saying now? Yes. So you can show it two ways. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you Don't can. show 1932 without 1631. Mm -hmm. Don't show 1631 
without 1932. <laughs> Y'all got it? All right. So let's go back over to Proverbs. I mean, Revelation. So y'all see it? I did. Let's go back to Revelation. <coughs> the daily wound was here, right? Mm -hmm. Which is verse 14, right? Yes. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth, right? Right. By the means of those miracles which he had power to do, right? Yeah. And sight of the beast, God gave him the power, didn't he? Yes, he did. The same to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live, right? Because yeah. he wounded them, then he killed them, right? Yes, he did. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, right? Right. Right? Because God gave it to them, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he can deceive them his own earth, didn't he? Yes. Yes. That's what it's for. Okay. It tells you what it's for. Yes, it is. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It says that he had power to give life unto the image of the power of the beast. And that, and, 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 and that the image of the beast, you got the image of God and you got the image of the beast. You got two images in the Bible, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right? And the image of the beast should both what? Speak? Mm -hmm. Cause them, cause them as many as would not worship. Hello? Uh -huh. The image of the beast should be killed. That's us, right? Because yeah. we're not going to worship the image the representative right. of the beast. The representative of the beast is the United States of America. It represents the beast. The beast is, the, is, is uh, Satan. Satan. Right? Yes, yes, they yes. represented the system, right? Yes. Barack Obama represented the system, yes, right? Yes, you yes. don't worship Barack Obama. I don't care nothing about having no library. I don't want to go down there and see it. Mm -hmm. Because it's a worship of it's worshiping the, the image. Mm -hmm. And he's an image of the system, man. Yes, so what the hell do you want to go down there to yes. Barack Obama's library for? Mm -hmm. Fringe. What you got to go to his library for to see him for? Hello? So we get to verse number 16, and calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in that right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might what? Save. save he? And the mark the mark. For the name of the beast. For the double of his name. What did it tell you to do with wisdom? What did it tell you to do with wisdom? Buy it! Go back to Proverbs 23 and 23. Say, here is wisdom. Buy it! Go back to Proverbs 23, 23. You put it right there too. You underline wisdom and you put Proverbs 23, 23. Did it say it? Yes, sir. So I underline wisdom, don't you? Yes. You got understanding there too, don't you? Yeah. And I put Proverbs. Is it? Is it? You go back. You go back. Y'all got to see this. Y'all see it. You look at verse 18 and say, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding. Hello? Uh-huh. There you go right there. Mm -hmm. We already got truth. No. Mm -hmm. It said, count the number of the beast. Well, it is the number of man, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And it said, his number is what? Six. 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 That's the number of man. Mm -hmm. What do man do? Buy and sell. You got to reflect. You don't buy the truth. You got to look at it. How do you reflect? Yes, yes. Think about it. Consider it before you do it. Exactly. He just don't hear and do. You got to ponder, don't you? Yes, he do. Well, if he ponder it, he got that. He got the mark of the beats. He's serving the system, ain't he? Yes, he is. You best believe it. Then go right there. You just learn something about Revelation today. Yes, he did. You just learn Revelation 13 verses 11 to 18, man. That gonna carry all the way through. You just learn about the image of the beast. You got the image of God, you got the beast. Christ is the image of God. You got the image of the beast. And we change it to that image from glory to glory. Turn, turn. Let me show you. Turn. Go, go to the book of Corinthians. Go to Corinthians. Go to Corinthians. You want to go, go to Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. Read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Let's do that. 2 Corinthians 3, 18. Are you there? Amen. 2 Corinthians 3, 18. Are you there? Amen. Yeah. We say, it says, it says, but we all, with open face, beholding in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's changed into that image from glory to glory. What images we changed into? Hebrews 1 3. Amen. We changed it to that same image. Amen. What images we changed it to? 
Hebrews 1, 3, Hebrews 1, 3. What images we changed into? What images we changed into? Hebrews 1, 3. Hebrews 1, 3. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, we change it to the image. We don't have an image of the beast. We don't ponder and reflect, do we? No. We hear and we what? Do. Because we ain't down here trying to what? By ourselves. We ain't down here trying to buy ourselves. We don't bought the truth. We ain't going to sell it. I know. We're going to buy some wisdom. We're going to buy some understanding, too, ain't we? Yes, do. You best believe. <laughs> best believe as an instruction. Yes, we are. We're going to follow instruction, ain't we? Yes, we are. Yes. Right? Yes. So, we change it to the same image. What image is that? He used one three. That's what we change to. And the express image of his person. Come on. And upholding all things by the word of his power. Uh huh. When he had by himself purged our sins. Uh huh. Sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. And then that's verse four. All right, then when he sat down on the majesty. And, and on most high, he was able to sit down because what did he do? He did what? He heard and he did. He, 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 he what? He heard, heard and, he and did. did. And that's what he said? Yes. He said, what my father said to me, that I do, didn't he? Yes. All right, then. Yeah, and so it, he did it one time. No, always. Oh! 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 Oh, he, he, he didn't go around and say, well, I did that. Yeah. Oh, what did he do what? Always. Oh! Oh! I just want to make sure he knew all the <laughs> Those things that make man happy. Oh, what he do? Those things that make man happy. You best believe I please my father. I don't seek to please man. If I seek to please man, I should not be a servant of God. Amen. Hello? Amen. All right then. So, let's go. Let's go. Let me show you your heart. I'm going to come back and do the Bible. Yes. Y'all yes. messed me up when y'all got that revelation. That's all it. Now, I said I'm going to show you your heart, right? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, let's go to the book of Mark. Book of Mark. Let's go to the book of Mark. Amen. Let's go to the book of Mark. We're going to Mark chapter 7. We're going to Mark chapter 7. Amen. We're going to Mark chapter 7. Mark chapter 7. Because we're going to look at a word. We're going to look at one word today. Yeah. That's what it is, church. We're supposed to hear this. We're supposed to do it. We ain't supposed to be going through the reflect and the contemplating process, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. I'm just gonna show you the procedure of the deceitful heart. Got it here. So let's go to Mark seven so I can show you this. Amen. Do a Mark chapter seven. Saint Mark chapter seven. Mark seven. Mark 7. Okay. It said, then came, then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. When they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashing hands. We already know what that means because we read it in our mission, all right? Yes. All right. They found fault, right? right. They found fault because they 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 not doing it the way they did it. Mm -hmm. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they what they wash their hands, often eat not wholly the tradition of the elders, right? Mm -hmm. and, and God in Colossians 2 8 say, let no man spoil you. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. With philosophy, right? Yeah, right. Vain to see the tradition of men mm -hmm. and the rudiments of the world, right? Right. 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 And when they came from, and when they come from the market, the agorazo, right? right? They come from the marketplace. Mm -hmm. What they been doing? Buying and selling. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
daddy. What was they doing? Buying and selling. And so they was buying and selling. They knew they was doing wrong. They was unclean. They wanted to wash their hands. Now they're mm -hmm. They think they finna wash the filth of the Gentile off of them, don't they? Mm -hmm. Or they think they washing the filth of the armor rest. They been dealing with, they been out there buying crack cocaine, buying stolen gym shoes. They been, I wish I had a with them. <laughs> they been buying all that stolen property that the crackheads don't stole. Mm -hmm. And they bring it to your house and they sell it to you and you buy it. Uh -huh. And you think because you take some cracker and grape juice and be dipped in some water, say a few prayers, you want to play, right? Yeah. No, you put your hand with the wick and you put your approval on what they're doing because you bought the merchandise. Mm -hmm. And then when they leave, what do you say? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you get some more, come back and let me know. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or you say, what, can you get some of them blue Nikes? You think you can get some of them black ones? Yeah. Or you think you can get some of those black pants or some of those blue pants? Uh, do, do they got any white? The next time you get some, you bring me some more. You just got an idea of God, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do got yeah, an idea of God. You go, turn your Bible, turn your Bible to the Lord. This is what I was telling you, Carolyn, when I was talking to you. Go to Romans. Go to Romans right. chapter 1. This is a lie. Go to Romans chapter 1. Look at verse number. Amen. Look at verse number. Amen. Twenty-four. Amen. Amen. Are you got twenty-four? Amen. Mm -hmm. Romans one twenty-four. Wherefore God also gave them up to what? Unto uh, the lust of their what? Own oh, To dishonor their own bodies between what? Themselves. So they're not doing what they want to do. They're not a homosexual because they want to be a homosexual. No. They're not a lesbian because they want to be a lesbian, right? No. They're a lesbian because God what? Gave them up. Don't y'all ever forget that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy on want to do. Come on, Eric. Eric, baby, I don't know if y'all seen this. Amen. Audible. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on, Eric. 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 Eric gave me this last week. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Look at look at uh Romans 132. This is what I want to show you. They ain't homosexual because they want to be homosexual. Mm -hmm. They're homosexual because God did what? Gave them up. Gave God them gave up. them up. Gave them up. God gave them up to the unclean. Yes. God, God also gave them up to uncleanness mm -hmm. through the lusts of their own heart. Right? Mm -hmm. Here we go right here. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. If you do it fast, well, I appreciate it. Here we go. Listen. Let's turn it up. I love this. Listen. Well, this has nothing to do with the reality. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I can sit here and say that I feel like a tomato plant, but that doesn't mean I'm actually in those things. So your, your self-perception, you can have whatever self-perception you want, but you can't expect me to take part in that self-perception or to take part in this kind of charade, this theatrical production. Whoa. You don't get your own pronouns. You don't get your own prepositions or your own, your own adjectives. It's like if I were to tell you, my adjectives are handsome and brilliant. And no matter, whatever you're talking about me, you have to describe me as handsome and brilliant because that's how I identify. It makes no sense. You don't get your own pronouns. I think it's, it's delusion and mental illness. It's a lot of it. With children, you know, there, there's also just a basic confusion that all kids have. When a four-year-old boy comes to you and says, oh, I'm a girl, here's a good follow-up question. What is a girl? And that's a question I would like to throw out to you know, other members of the panel, actually, because just like the four-year-old can't answer what is a girl, well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology, is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? 
No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> An adult human female. You know, here's the thing: when you're when you're a female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, we can dig up their bones a hundred years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were because it's in, it's down in, it's it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not you myself. You the word. So what did you mean when you said trans women are women? If you don't know what it means. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? <laughs> people who identify as a woman. I identify as what? As a woman. What is that? What is that? You want to reduce, so you want to reduce women, you want to reduce men, down to maybe just their genetics, our genitals, no. our chromosomes, right? That's what you're what saying. You want to do is, that's what, what, you, what you want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood okay. and turn it into basically a costume that can be worn. their own bodies between themselves mm -hmm. who change the truth. What did they do, J.D.? They changed the truth. Wait, wait, wait. Look at the script. What did they do? They changed the truth. What did they do, J.D.? They changed the truth. What did they do, Rose? They sold it. Thank you, J.D. They sold the truth. He said, buy the truth, sell it not. So you got to remember. They sold the truth. What did they sell the truth? When they changed? What did they sell the truth? When God gave them up, mm -hmm. see God give you up, you're selling truth. Mm -hmm. God give you up, you're selling truth. You change. So now you know what buy and sell means. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Ain't this deep? Yes, it is. They change the truth of God. Then we go right there. Mm -hmm. Into a lie. So what is he living? A lie. What is he? A lie. Thank you very much. You worship and serve the creature, right? Uh -huh. Self, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Another man, right? Mm -hmm. right. More than the what? Creator. Mm -hmm. Who the creator is blessed forever, right? Yes. Yeah. This cause God gave them up to vow what? Perfection. Perfection. Even their women did change the natural use to that which is against what? Yeah. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, turned in their lust for one another. Which men Men with what? Men working, which is unseen. Boy, that just tears me up every time I read that. Yeah, I know what Working. Working. Ah! I know, right? <laughs> working! What? That which is what? Unseen. unseen. And receiving in themselves. Wow. That you tears see that? me up there. Receiving, receiving in. in. Did y'all see that? Uh huh. Yes. Receiving in themselves that recompense of their what? Error. That's because they earthly ain't. Yes. Right? They, they sold the truth, right? The spirit of truth, the spirit of error. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was deserving. That's what meat means. Yes. Mm -hmm. And even as they did not like, right? Mm -hmm. So they pondered. That's what's wrong with man. He don't know what? I like. He do not like. Preacher, you see all of that in those verses. Yes, you, you see do. the understanding with the conscience, and yep. you see it 
with reason. Yeah. Then you see the part with the will because they like. Yeah. Then it's the affections. All of that, he gave them up to that. That's right. That's right. Romans 1, 28. Uh -huh. And even as they did not like. They reasoned it. Yes. Because they did not like. So they pondered it. Yes. They, did. they mm -hmm. did not like to retain God in uh -huh. knowledge. God gave them over to a what? Reprobated mind. To do. To do. To do. To do. do. Those things which are not convenient mm -hmm. or beneficial. No. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication. Now, you got to understand what he just said. Uh -huh. He's talking about man with man and woman with woman, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you got man with a man and a woman with woman, right? Mm -hmm. They got unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiter, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Did I tell you, man, don't create that. Mm -hmm. All of this is in the same category with lesbians and homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, Biden ain't no different than either one of them. No. Notice what the man said. That's left-wing liberalism. Now, the right wing don't put their approval on that right there, what y'all say. Only the Democrats, Kamala Harris, and the black community, because that's where it's no prevailing at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it says without understanding, right? Yeah. Covenant breakers, right? Right. Right? They go and accept Christ as their personal Savior, right? Mm -hmm. They go right there, y'all, without natural affection. They beat up old men, careless, and they turn the dog loose on them, right? Yes. Look at this. Implacable. You can't, no. you can't please them. No. It's nothing you can do to please. You can give them all the money you want. You can give them food stamps. You can give them loans. You can do anything. They never is pleased. Implacable means that they can't be pleased. Right? Right. It says unmerciful, right? It says, who know the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Talking about all of those left-wing liberals and right-wing politicians, pay attention to what they say. Not only do the same, but you are a lie, right? Mm -hmm. You say you change the truth of God into a lie, right? Mm -hmm. You are a lie when you have pleasure in them, you take pleasure and you like them, they do those things. That bad part, right? Yeah. So I was telling Carol, you are lying when you say this. Don't ever say this. I know that you are doing what you're doing for your family. I hear you. I know what the preacher said or didn't say is not what you're supposed to do. But you got a family, and you need to do that which is right for your family. Don't you ever tell a person that. Don't you ever tell a person, I know what you're doing is for your family, and I know you got to do it. So go ahead on and do what you got to do, because you got to do what's right for your family. Don't you ever tell a damn individual that. Jesus said, I come to bring a sword. I come to turn father against mother, mother. I come to turn uh, 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 father against son, son, daughter against mother. I could, have, I could have divided. I could have set, to set a man in barriers with his father. I come to divide the house. Don't you ever tell a person, well, I know that you got to do what you got to do for your family, and go ahead on and do it, because I know I think that's best that I do this for my family, and you just go home and do it. Don't you never put your agreement with nobody like that. Don't you ever put no agreement with no person who say, well, I got to do what's best for my family. Don't you ever put your agreement with nobody. That's earthly. Did y'all just say that's mm -hmm. error? That's buying and selling. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever tell a person, well, you got to do what's best for your family. Don't you ever in your life blaspheme the sovereignty of God like that. You just put your hand with the wicked. Mm -hmm. When you tell a person, I think. I think that that's best for you. I think that that's what you should do. I know that you got to look out for your family. Don't you ever tell nobody that you wicked creature. You that's evil. That's verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but you have pleasure in them that do them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell nobody that. You never 
don't tell a person that. So you see, that's in your heart. You hate God. You got to do what you think is best for your family. You got to do what you think is best for your family. You got to do what you think is best for your family. What you ever tell a person that? What you ever tell a person that? I understand. Don't you ever tell a person you want to say if they do a safe and they got to do what they think is best for their family. Don't you ever tell a person that. Don't you ever tell a person on oh, Romans 1.32. We don't even know knowing what we say and do. Nope. We don't even know what the hell we say and do. No. You know how angry that make me? Yeah. You just put your approval on that person's sin. You just told them to keep on going to sin. You sending the person to hell. Amen. You going with a word. Mm -hmm. Encourage you, then you are say you believe God. I think that's evil. Yes, yes. Man, man, don't y'all ever do that, church? I know you. I know you. You think you doing what's right for your family? Don't ever tell a person God ain't doing right for no no family. That ain't the sovereignty. God ain't said it. Don't do it. That's what they doing. See, that's your heart. Let me show you. That's an evil thought, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that evil thought? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm going to show you your heart. I'm going to show it to you. Now go to Mark. Mark chapter 7. That makes me so angry. Yeah. Don't you ever tell a person that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do what's best for your family. Don't you ever tell a person that. Don't you ever tell a person that. Okay. Thank you. You have a tell the person. You see, that's what he come to do then. Yes, sir. Who is my mother? Uh huh. Those who are sitting around me. He told me, man, y'all, he didn't tell them, well, I know, you know, I told you to come to this wedding supper, but, but I know that you just got married, and I think that you got to do what's right. <laughs> I think you got to do what's right for your wife. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell them that in 14 chapter, did you? Nope. I, I know you just bought the oxen, and you got to work them because you got a family at home, so you got to go try them out because you got to feed all them babies. So I know what you're doing. You got to do what's best for your family. I understand that you ever tell a person that you. That's dumb, man. Yes, it is. Man, you know what that does? That burns me up. It burns me up. I'm telling you, that makes me angry. You tell a person that. You got to do what's best for your family. Man. Did you hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. Do you hear what a person told me? I know you think you got to do what's best for your family, so go ahead over and do it. You don't tell no person that. He told you you didn't come to bring peace. You come to bring this war. Why would you tell him that? Why would you tell him that? Because you just saw the truth, didn't you? Yep. You just yes, saw the truth, didn't you? Yes. And then you just saw the truth. Yes. yes. Because you think you can buy and sell, don't you? Yes. Because you got the mark of the beast, right? Right. They came together unto him, Pharisees and certain of the scribes who came from Jerusalem. When they saw some of his disciples, he grew was defiled. That is to say, with unwashing hands. They found fault. Found fault. When Pharisees and all the Jews, except they washed their hands off, they eat not only the traditional elements. When they come from the market, buying and selling, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's what they was doing. That's why they wash it. Mm -hmm. They're they washing folks. And they've been buying and selling, they? Yeah. They're rubbing up against the, the Gentile, ain't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've been buying and selling. Yeah. You been buying them stolen gym shoes, ain't you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You been buying them stolen clothes that they went downtown and, and bust the windows, right? Yes. Yeah. Snatching and grabbing, right? Yes. Yeah. But they do at the malls, right? Yes. Yeah. And then you go and buy, right? right? Then you think because you go to church and pray and take some crackers and grape juice, get dipped in water, you think you're clean, don't you? Yes, you yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. You took pleasure in it, didn't you? Yes. You bought the stolen watch. You Romans 132. And then you wonder what's happening to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> snatching and busting windows in the marketplace in all the rouser, but you got the mark of the beast, so you buy and sell. Yes. And then when you get some more, bring me that too. Yeah. Can you then 
kind of nervous, say this. Can you get? Did you hear what that what I said? Yes. You yeah, had a nervous yeah. challenge. Well, yeah, you say, well, can you get? Yeah, I'll try to get that next time. Okay, I'll be here waiting on you. Pastor, a neighbor came to the house and wanted to sell Van a, a hat. Van was standing at the door, and I'm nosy. I keep the around. And the guy. I told him, I said, get away from here. Don't ever bring no more stolen stuff here. Yeah. The, the oh, man got yeah. mad at me. He don't even have to no more. He don't, he, don't, he don't have to. You ain't selling truth. You didn't sell the truth. You didn't take pleasure in him. If you would have bought it, you would have did Romans 132. <laughs> I just have to tell us all I made a Bible study Thursday. You bring me that stuff? I just want $3 a pack. She had like four packs of pepper. What size pepper is your baby? You want baby well? I just bought. So what size you get? I said, no, 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 bad, no. Right, you don't buy that? You stole it. Yeah, I said, Josh, she's trying to get how a drug could be. You don't buy that? I just want $3 a pack. You don't buy that? You Romans 132, you a lie! Like, come on. <laughs> I said, Carol, people don't even need to know when they be lying. Nope. I said, Carol, people, they don't, y'all don't know it. Don't. You lied, you took pleasure in them that did it. Yeah. Shh. Oh, Lord, forget it. Shh. Can't buy that stuff. What's wrong with it? See, yeah. you don't know that's why you need to sit with the preacher so you find out what's wrong with it. That's why you need to sit around him. Amen. That's why you need to come and sit down around him. Amen. Amen. Say it again. Amen. That's why you need to come and sit down around him. Yes. Hey, preacher. Just made you just stole, man. You don't even know what you're doing. Nope. Because you, because you didn't physically go in the store. Now, abstractly, you did it. You're a murderer. You're a thief in your heart. You don't broke every one of God's law in your heart. Let me show you your heart. Mm -hmm. And when they come from the market, except they wash and eat. Hello? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Except they wash. They don't partake enough. We got to get this Gentile defilement off us. Mm -hmm. Many other things there be. See, it's a whole lot of stuff that God can't name all the wickedness that was in their heart. <laughs> he can't name all the wickedness in your heart. You be right the dog. Man, the book would be still being written, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, you can't write everything that's in your heart. Look at it saying many other things there be which they have received to hold. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's the washing of cups, pots, brazen vessels, and tables, but they didn't wash their own wicked hearts. No, they didn't. <laughs> then the Pharisees and scribes and actually said, Why walk not your disciples after the tradition of the elders? After the tradition of men. Why y'all don't do vain to see the philosophy? What about the rudiments of the world? Why y'all don't do what we do? But eat bread with unwashing hands. He answered and said to them, Well, the Cyrus prophesied of you hypocrites. Uh huh. It is written, his people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. I'm going to be going into that. How be it in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of your of men. They say that's instruction. That's of God. The instructions and the commandments you get from a man. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold. Look at him keep talking about holding. You won't let it go. You won't let that garbage go. Keep talking about what your mama said, the familiar spirit, what your grandmama did. And all yeah. you know what he said. You see how many times he don't say he use the word hold? Yeah. You know, use it at least three times already. Y'all don't be paying attention. Hold, 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 hold. Ain't let it go. What? Ain't let it go. Won't let it go. Nope. Nope. Amen. Keep holding it. Won't let it go. Mm -hmm. Verse. 
eight for laying aside a commandment of men, you hold the tradition of men, don't you? Yes. You teach for doctrines the tradition of men, didn't you? Uh -huh. That's what he told us over there. Vain philosophy, vain deceit, tradition of men, right? Man. Washing the pots and cups, many of such like things you do. You do. It's a whole lot of things you do. I can't even name them all. Many such like things you do. It's a whole lot of things you do. I know you're wicked and you're evil. Hypocrites. It's a whole lot of things you do because you're superstitious, ain't you? Yes. You yes. hold to the tradition of your mom and your daddy, right? Yes. Your sisters and your brothers, your grandma and big mama, and yeah. you won't let it go. What your daddy did with his evil, wicked self, what your mama did with her evil, wicked self, talk back with. Yes. Yeah. He said, I'm just in full well, you reject. <laughs> The commandment of God that you may keep your own. You want to do what you want to do. That's all you want to do. All you want to do is do your own tradition, your parabosa. You all you want to do is what you want to do. You just want to do your own thing. That's what you want to do. But Moses said, honor your father and your mother. Whose curse is father and mother, let them die to death. But you said, the man shall say to his father and mother, it is corban, it's a gift from giving it to God. That is to say, a gift, Corban means a gift, by whatsoever you might as be profited by me, mom and daddy, he shall be free. You suffer him no more to do aught. You suffer him no more to do. Do y'all keep saying one word and keep saying do? do. do. This is something you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta do it. You hear it, you do it. And you suffer him no more to do anything for his father or his mother, you Pharisees and you scribes making the word of none effect through your tradition, which you have delivered, and many such things, many such like things do ye. You keep saying, I'm saying, do. do. It's all about doing. And when he had called all the people, he said unto them, hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man <clears throat> that entering into him can defile the man. But the things which come out. That's what we're gonna, that's that's your heart. Which mm -hmm. come. And then he said out. Put out in parentheses. That's not in there. The word which come. This is the procedure. It's the word act. Pour your mouth. P O R P U. You looked at this? So I heard you say this. Hmm? You studied this? Yeah. Already? Mm -hmm. Praise God. He, he know I was gonna teach you. Export your mouth, right? It's the word which come. Mm. It means to the part. It means be discharged. I don't know if you got all the definition I got. You probably don't because I'm going a little deeper. Be discharged. It means to proceed. Most of it he probably got. I know that. He got that. Proceed. It means to project. He should have some of this. Fear of love. It means come forth. It means come out. I'm showing you your heart. Mm -hmm. It means come out. It means go forth. It means go out. It means issue. It means proceed. Out from means proceed out from proceed out from pro C out of feelings affections. That include what, Rose? That include what, Regina? Affections. 
Can you close one man around? Well. Better be no they're not embarrassed. No. <laughs> you won't tell you that. No. What's wrong with you, girl? I'm about to fix you, girl. <laughs> Mama, that's right. That's will. Whatever you see the affections, that always remember. What's with the affections? Yeah. Believe it. Deeds. This is what comes out of your heart. Deeds. Sayings. Then you don't do them because you're a liar. Right? Right? Right. 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 From the mouth. That's what comes out of your heart. What comes out of how? Which come? Ex paroyo mouth. Means to depart, be discharged, proceed, project, come forth, come out, go forth, go out, issue, proceed, out from. Look at Proverbs 4.33. Look at Proverbs 4.23. Look at Proverbs. Now you're going to understand 4.23. Proverbs 4, 23. What did it say? Keep thy heart with all diligence. Keep that heart with all diligence. Right? Yes. Right? Look, look. Proverbs 4, 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. right? So what do that mean? Keep that heart with all diligence. 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 Okay. Diligence. Goes back to Hebrews, the eleventh chapter. What? It, what do we mean? Diligence. 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 Diligently seek him. Diligence. Diligence. What do it mean? Keep that heart with all diligence. All right. What it means? Uh-huh. What do it mean? From Hebrews eleven and six. Best believe it. Yeah. What do it say, Mama Ronda? Hebrews eleven and six. We're looking for diligence. Diligence. That's what I'm talking about. How do you keep what how do you keep your heart with all diligence? Huh? Hebrews 11 and 6. How do I just answer? I didn't say read the verse. How do you keep your heart with all diligence? How do you keep your heart with all diligence? Everybody's supposed to get Hebrews 11 and 6. I didn't ask you to read the verse. What do you do? How do you keep your heart with all diligence? Huh? By believing in religion. How do you keep your heart with all diligence? Look at the scriptures. Eleven and six. You should have went there the first time I told you, Rose, while you were sitting there. You're sitting there like you didn't hear that I was talking to you. That's why I was talking to you. How do you keep your heart with all diligence? By believing. You're not looking at your scriptures, huh? How do you keep your heart with all diligence? What? Who said it? Mortal. What you say, Regina? Diligently seek him. Thank you! Diligently seek him! That's how you keep your heart with all diligence. Diligently seek him! That's how you keep your heart with all diligence. Hebrews 11, 6. It says, diligently seek him. I said diligent. Go back to Proverbs 4.23. We relate the word diligence with the word diligently. Right? Right. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all forgot? You relate the word Mama Rhonda had it right, but she wouldn't read the script. It says diligently seek him. You go to Hebrews 11.6 and say diligently seek him. So I keep my heart with all diligence. When I do what, Daddy? Diligently seek him. Thank you very much. I diligently seek him. So we go back over to we go back over to Mark, Mark 7, Mark 7, 15. We're going to find the word ex paroyo mai is in Mark 7, 15, Mark 7, 19, Mark, 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 Mark 7, 20. It's in verse 21, and it's in verse, it's in verse 21, and it's in verse 23. Now I'm going to show you your heart. Mm -hmm. Out of your heart. This is your heart. It's why I deceive you. It's how I deceive you. We had verse number 14. And when he had called the, the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. 
There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. Whiskey can't defile him. Crack cocaine can't defile him. Drugs can't defile him. But the things which come out, ex pororio mind, the things which come out of him, those things which come out of him, those are they, the things that defile a man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. When he was entered into the house from the people, he has separated himself now. His disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he said unto them, Are you so without understanding the same thing I ask you all the time? Also, do you not mentally grasp, abstract, perceive, mentally grasp, abstract, that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him, because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly. And go without. And go without. And go right there. Go without. Go without. That's verse 19. It's the word ex for royal mind. Into the drought. Purging all meats. Go through the digestive system. He said unto them, That which cometh out, which cometh out, then go again. I'm showing you your heart. That's the word exporomai. That which cometh, which cometh is the word exporomai. Out of the man, that defiled the man. For from what, Carolyn? For from what, Carolyn? What? From what, Rose? So. From, you ain't even paying attention. From, from what, Bubba B? No, no, you ain't even paying attention to scripture. You're not paying attention. For from whom? What is the word? That's why I ask you. Thank you very much. I ask you, I ask you the word, Kelly, and I said what? You said what then? What? S-O-T-N. Everybody's supposed to have that in their body. Everybody's. What then? What do that mean? In word. This is what, this is your heart. Everything comes from your heart, inside, mm -hmm. inside, mm -hmm. your heart. The heart is the understanding. The heart, H-E-A-R-T, is your understanding. Some scripture they include understanding. When you read it, it's the understanding out of your reason, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Right? right? Yes. Out of your conscience, right? Yes. Right. Out of your mind, right? Yes. Right. Thank you very much. This is what's in you. This is what's in you. This is your heart. This is you. Come out of your mind, your understanding, your reason. It comes from the inside, inward, inside, esotheme. Understanding is your thoughts, right? Yeah. How about your feelings? Yes. Yes, it is. You got it all up there. It's what it comes from. It's your heart. The heart is the thoughts, the feelings, and the mind. It said from forward thing, proceed. What is the word proceed? X. 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 Thank you. Proceed is the word X. Poor royal mind. Poor royal mind. Et poor royal mind. I left out the O, did it? Did I leave out the O? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Ex, ex poor royal mind. Let it come forth out of your understanding, your thoughts, your feelings, your reason, your conscience, your mind. And then it comes out of your mouth. Once it's in your conscience, once it's in your reason, you understand your thoughts, it's coming out of your mouth. We're going to see it in your feelings, with your evil self. We you say you're evil, your deeds. We're going to see it. And what you say, that's your heart. That show you how evil it is. The first thing you say is, I don't know how it proceed. The first thing you proceed is kakas. Worth it. It's what you say, what you reason is worth it. It's evil. The word evil is the word K, K, 
carry all the cash. This is everything that's ours. I mean, evil, evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. And it's the word kakas. Bad, it means of a bad nature. This means not such of the kind as it ought to be. Troublesome, injurious, pernicious, destructive thoughts. Injurious to the object or objects which are person or person. Bad, evil, harm, ill, wicked. You cause distress, death, and ruin. Having a bad odor, foul smell. Need to be seasoned with salt. Stinking, intrinsically such. Word thoughts. It's, what is the word thoughts? Look that up, John. That's right. The thoughts is dealing evil deal against us. Talk to yourself. You do. You, that, that go your reasoning right there. That go with your reasoning. In your understanding, you say, "I'm not going according to those rules, and I'm not going according to those orders." And you just so the truth. That's your heart. Ex for royal mind. He keep using this word right here. Jesus keep using that word right here. It's found in 715, which called. Found in verse number 19, go out. Found in verse number 20, which called. Found in verse 21, or from within, out of the heart of men, the word ex for royal mind is proceed. There you go right there, proceed. There you go right there. It's proceed. You got it in verse 21 and 23. And verse number 21 is proceed. Verse 21 is proceed. Proceed. That's in verse 21 is proceed. That's it in verse pre, pro, uh, 21. Evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit. The heart is deceitful above all things that death should be written. Deceit comes out your heart. Deceit comes out your heart. Deceiviousness is in your heart. You got an evil eye. You want to compare yourself with others. You're always looking on others, wondering why they ain't like you. Or why you got to do it and they got to do it. You got blasphemy. You speak evil of the word of God. You speak evil of the preacher. You got pride in your heart. You want to shine above others. Bunch of foolishness. All these evil things come. The word come in verse number 23 is the word exporial mind. All these things come. They come. Here go your heart right there. They come from SOD. They come from inside. They come out of your understanding. They come out of your reason. They come out of your conscience. They come out of your mind. They come out of your thoughts. They come out of your feeling. Feel you're evil. That's your heart. That's what heart means. That's where they come from. That's you with your evil self. You're not a Jew. But you is. You said, how did you just get on the outside? Man is an object. All that stuff comes out of you. All that is in you. It's in you right now. It's in you right now. If you deny it and say it not, what did you just do? Lie. No, you didn't. But you did, you just blasphemed. Because he said it's in you. You just opened and said it's not. You just blasphemed. Oh, no, you don't be doing what you're doing. You eat it. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Let me read you something. She just said that. What did she say? You gotta repent all day. She said what? You gotta repent all day. I'm reading it to you from God, from God's caress. The psychology of birth and religious experience. What did she say? You gotta repent all day. The notion that only conversion establishing an authentic relationship to God has sounded in Judeo-Christian thought. They call it Judeo-Christian because the gospel is to the Jew first and to the Greek, so it's Judeo-Christian. Since the prince of Amos and Hosea, dismayed, he's talking about the Puritans, how they thought, dismayed by what they considered the failure of ritual fasting and lamentation. Well, Janie just went on a fast. She didn't fast so she could obey God. See, fast so she can get a health better. Amen. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the word. What do you call them people? Yeah. A health practitioner told Janie if she fasts, her body will heal herself. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Did it help you, Jamie? Yes, it did. So Jamie went on one week fast and her body healed itself. Mm -hmm. And her body will heal itself. Mm -hmm. So Jamie went on one week fast and her body healed itself. Five day, five day fast. The notion that only conversion, establishing an authentic relationship to God, has resonated in Judeo Christian thought since the complaints of Amos and Hosea. It's made by what they considered the failure of ritual fasting and lamentation to elicit more than superficial repentance. The prophets announced that God demands sin to be repudiated at the altar of the heart. What this involves, they communicated by investing the word borrowed from common speech, shoe, S-H-U-W-B. I got it in my Bible. It's the word for repentance, S. H U W B. That word shoe, shoe, your uh, shoe, shoe it means to go back again. It's what I told y'all last week, you women. It means to return with theological value. Study another word value. True religion consists in consciously turning back from sin to embrace God, reversing one's earlier path. Did I not tell you women this? Reversing one's earlier path. Go all the way back to where you was when you first met me. Do your first works. You got to go all the way back. When I first met Pastor, I loved Pastor. I did this. I don't care. I don't care what Pastor asked me to do. I did it. What's my problem now? You need to repent. Rose just said. And this, and this is what I read yesterday. It says, true religion consists in consciously turning back from sin to embrace God, reversing one's earlier path. The repentant put themselves under God's will. They trust Him unconditionally. I don't care what the preacher say. I'm trusting what he say based on no condition. I don't have to go and reason it out. I believe that God sent that man to me. He is my pastor. What he tell me to do, I'm going to do it unconditionally. It ain't if I see it, if it makes sense to me. That's a condition you place it upon God. You arrogant. That's pride. You blasphemy. Pride. People don't understand what they're doing. You put in a condition with God. I ain't going to do it unless you show me. If God don't show me in the Bible, when I sit down and read about myself, if you don't show me, I ain't doing that. Do you know what you're doing? Do you actually know what you're saying? Because you got pride. That's in you. That's in your heart. That's you. That's in your feelings. That's in your thoughts. It comes out of your mouth, you say it. It's in your deeds, by your action, we can see it. Anybody doing that to you, that's you. Yeah. That, and I just read this yesterday. Boy, y'all really don't make the church, the body of Christ. I'm telling y'all, ain't nobody teaching like this. Ain't nobody, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nobody teaching this like this. None. But y'all get, man, y'all don't... Man, ain't half the people learning this. True religion consists in consciously. You are aware. That I means you conscious, see your and see how you are aware. Oh Lord, I, and then that's the conscious one saying, you know you're not supposed to do. You know you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to turn right away and go. Look, look, I'm sorry. Hey, preach. I'm, I'm sorry. What, what is that you told me I need to do? What, what is that preach out with you? When the cop, cause it's gonna tell you. You, it's gonna. Man, did your sister conscious convict her? Yes, sir. Convict yes, her. I know y'all conscious convict yes, I know it. The book said it. Yes, I ain't talking about the book. I mean the Bible said it. Yes, indeed. The Holy Spirit will convict mm -hmm. the world. That's what it says in the book of John. It says the Holy Spirit will convict yes. the world of sin. Yes. Sin is going to reprove yes, so the world. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, and it does. Amen. And what Man. we do is excuse it, don't we? Yes. 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 Yes.
You think I'm going to answer somebody that's arrogant like that? Because you crazy. You think I'm going to answer somebody arrogant like that? He asked you, should he send a net in your eye and bother you to death till he kill you? He asked you. He'll send an affliction on you. He'll wound you. He'll answer you. Right now. He'll answer you now. He told you to hear, believe, and do. That's all he told you to do. That's it. Just do it. Just do it. What? My yoke is easy. Amen. <laughs> True religion consists in consciously turning back from sin to embrace God, reversing one's earlier path. The repentant put themselves under God's will. They trust Him unconditionally and turn from transgression. Conversion reorients one's life course. Asking more of the person than lip service. Did we read that? Yes. Did we read that? Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at verse 6. What do verse 6 say? What do verse 6 say? What do it say? What do he say? But their heart is far from me. Thank you very much. I'll read it again. The re conversion reorients one's life course, actually more of the person than lip service, to ceremony and willingness to perform moral obligations. Turning enlists the entire personality. What you want to do with me, preacher? What you mean, entire personality? My thoughts turn, my feelings turn, my reason turn, my conscience turn, my mind turn. My affections turn, my will turn, my deeds turn, my sayings turn. I'm sorry, preacher, I was wrong. What is it that we got to do? Tell me what we need to do. That's diligently seeking Him. You better keep your heart, you better guard it. Out of it proceeds comes forth. Everything in your life is dangerous, church. You can say what you want that saying come out of your mouth. I'm a child of God. It's dangerous and you're not doing it. Turning and this is the entire personality. It engages all one's faculties. You want to read I'll tell you. I'll you know. It engages all one's faculties. It's not just one part of your mouth. Fitness engage all your faculties. Mm -hmm. Every faculty you can. <laughs> the whole entry, All your faculties. It engages all the faculties. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for your word. We pray that you cause us to truly repent. Yes. Deliver us from the procedure of that deceitful heart, Lord, and cause us to walk according to your system. In Jesus' name we pray to church today. Amen. Amen.